Hello everybody, welcome to Controller Tape. Greetings we're, and salutations. We're back to Dark Souls 2 for part 2 of Ark's Run. Where I'm sure he's going to tackle two Lord Bosses. Two? Yeah. You think I'm going to get that far? I forget, because you were heading to the Iron Keep. Yes. But I forget how you get there. Um... I have to go through the... I, if I'm remembering correctly, I have to go through the Shaded Woods. And then I go through... No, wait, no, that takes me to the Seldora Cove or whatever. Uh, Brightstone Seldora. Brightstone, Brightstone Cove. How do I get there? Was it through the rats? No. In my last playthrough, I never went... I, I never... Or, wait, was it through... Oh, didn't you... Can't you skip the rats if you do a precise jump into the well? Um, the well. Because I remember... There's... Oh, if you go down the well, yeah. But you don't necessarily have to do a precise jump. You, you just get the ladder. Um, you can do oh, a I, precise not, jump. Not in, um... Not in the Majula. In... After you beat the, uh... Rat Vanguard... You enter into an area where there's like, it's like a big hole that goes down and you have to do shitty platforming across like coffins that are jutting out of the wall. Oh, I never did down. that. I didn't, I never did that to get to the iron, to the iron keep. Huh. So that, that. I remember being super pissed a long time Coffins. ago, but like. I Was that this game? Yeah. I, I mean, I remember that, but I don't remember it being in this game. And like, it was really annoying because even if you did make it down there without dying there was these guys that run at you and jump and explode right and do ridiculous quantities of damage fuck how do how do i get there was it because brightstone has always been like the easiest one to find my way to was it Like, part of me is like, look it up, stupid. You're allowed to look it up. And but it's also it like, infuriating that you can't remember. Yeah. Especially since, like, you just played this through not that long ago. Um. Because I remember, like, you come in. Doof, doof, doof. Right after. Okay, I remember. Okay. It's right after a boss. And I remember like I got through some nasty shit and then I and then there's like an elevator that takes you up there. And I remember getting to the top of the elevator and then going out and thinking where the fuck is the bonfire? And then I missed the bonfire and kept going into Iron Keep constantly shitting myself because I'm like where's the fucking bonfire <laughs> Jesus Christ there's there's another area that I'm trying to remember how to get to wait was it past the contraption that the lady scams you through maybe something is beyond there that's important well you know what let's go there when we start playing um, and then there's there's another area that I'm trying to remember where you have to fight the skeleton lords. Yes. And I'm trying to remember how you get there too. Um. That is through. Okay. Wait. 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 Um. Hunter's cops is where where you go and it's like that big area with all the poison butterflies right and then you go uh you cross that big bridge and then you go through the skeleton caves of bullshit and necromancers right and then when you get to the end of that that's where hello cobalt that's where the skeleton lords are right and i think after that might be where the iron 
Keep is. I'm just... And I believe getting there starts with going to what's her name and doing the alternate thing. I think. But we'll find out here in a second. Or alternately, Cobalt will tell us whether we ask him to or not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in this game... My my annoyance with you being lost is lessened because I've always found this game's layout to be a lot more confusing. Mm -hmm. So my annoyance is only on a minute level when you're in a very specific area <laughs> and you're just trying to find how to get to a chest or something. You're mm -hmm. like, I'm going to go over here to get this chest. I'm like, no, it's the other way, you idiot. Oh, also, I didn't... No. A tiny toaster for tiny bread. <laughs> yes. That's the Sink. that's the hard drive hot swap bay. So you just take a you just take a regular internal hard drive and you just chunk stick it in there. Now it's an external drive. I see it seems to accept SSDs as well. Yep, it any any hard drive that with a standard Cuz it's, it's got SATA. a small slot just just open. You know, they can't see it, but it's got a small slot in the top that's just open. That's about SSD size. Right. But it's, there's like a big flap so that you can jam an entire HD. Uh, 3.5 inch drive. Yeah. Yeah. Just thunk. Um, so what's interesting to me, uh, side note, uh, hard, mechanical hard drives came in two sizes, 3.5 and 2.5. 2.5, when they first were released, were typically used in laptops, um, but they also were used in, like, small form factor computers, right? But 3.5 and 2.5 do not refer to the physical size of the entire drive. They refer to the size of the platter within the drive. But modern SSDs, right, solid-state mm -hmm. drives, uh, the, the older ones, the older SATA ones, not the newer NVMe ones that you plug straight into the motherboard, right? The older, like that one right there, you can see it zip-tied to the case down there because I can't find any of the sleds. <laughs> um, maybe I should upgrade, maybe I should get a new case. I mean, it's a nice case. Anyway, so uh, those type of solid-state drives are called... 2.5 inch solid state drives because they're the same size as the old 2.5 inch hard drives but they're they, they don't have anything 2.5 inch about them they don't have a platter inside <laughs> it's it's one of those old it's one of those things where you have uh, holdovers like how the save icon in most software is still a floppy disk. <laughs> but even though we've reached the point where everyone can store their entire li life history on something that's this big right. and still have room for like an entire library's worth of porn. And despite the fact that like there are, there are fully grown people now who don't understand why the save icon is a truck. <laughs> um, but here's the thing though that icon like that symbology for saving was useful because it visually looks like something that at the time everybody was familiar with everybody knows floppy drive you save stuff on right right what do we use now as an icon like if we if we're trying to get away from skeuomorphism what do we use now as an icon, what's a, what is a good icon for saving that doesn't rely on real-world physical things? Because, like, you might say, oh, I'll make it shaped like an SSD. Well, one, it's just a fucking rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I, like, when we were at Best Buy looking for shit, you know, I saw a whole bunch of, like, S, like portable SSDs. And they're all basically little squares. And they're just featureless little squares with, like, the brand name on it. Yeah, just black box. It, unlike, say, you know, HDDs, where, you know, there's, like, very 
specific shapes and bevels and emboss embossings all over it that you see on every hard, you know, regular hard drive. So, like, you know, you could have, when we were doing just hard drives, you could have made the save icon that, and people would be like, oh, that's a hard drive. But now that we've moved on to solid state drives and they're all just featureless squares, <laughs> you couldn't just, you know, turn it to that. Yeah. So, so like... And no, barely anybody uses CDs and DVDs anymore. Right. So, like, what's, what is a good abstract icon that sells the idea of saving something? Like... A cardboard you, you, box. Well, because, like, you could be like, oh, okay, well... What about, like, an arrow pointing into a folder? No, that's a real-world thing. That's not an abstract concept. It presumes the knowledge of what a folder is, right? That's that's what you're trying to get away from when you are getting... That's that's what you're trying to get away from when you're trying to get away from skeuomorphism, is you're trying to get away from a reliance on real-world objects to convey concepts. Um, because... You know, like with like the save icon, the floppy drive has reached a point where it's no longer useful as a physical connection to. Um, okay, here's a good example of something of skeuomorphism that is still around that you probably don't even really think about. Oh yeah, the old the old, I, old telephones that right there that it looks like a handset who uses who uses phone handsets anymore your parents <laughs> like my boys have never seen a phone handset ever in their life so i mean they have maybe in like tv well i mean we still have a landline phone yeah but not like that the landline phone could very easily be a cell phone like an older style cell phone right it's not like this is like an ye olden style handset right so but that's a that's an example of skeuomorphism it's an icon that conveys an idea by connecting to a physical object that people recognize um sort of like um now sometimes that's useful for example in my art software, the pencil, the icon for the pencil tool is a pencil. The icon for a pen tool is a pen. The icon for the brush tool is a brush. That makes sense. It's useful because those things are all, those things all emulate that thing <laughs> in the art software, right? They're useful for people who organize their art software. I'm not one of those persons. Every custom brush I make is in the pencil category, whether or not it's a pen, a pencil, or something that's supposed to look like spoogey paint. Well, the reason I have to separate them out is so that I have different shortcuts for all of them, so I can, on my macro, on my macro device, I can hit, like, the pencil button and then the eraser button and so forth. But I'm, I'm trying, like, even with the phone, I'm having a hard time figuring out what you would do for that icon if you weren't doing a phone because like the only thing i could think of is make it look like what it's doing but the only thing that was would be like waves mm -hmm. like communication waves but one that's already used for wi-fi signals and two that's also kind of skeuomorphism because mm -hmm. it's like it's not a physical object it's not a phone but it's still a representation of something that exists, and you'd have to have knowledge of what that means in order to truly understand it. Right. Um, okay. So, this, I think, is a good example of uh, Apple backtracking a little bit, which was frustrating, which is kind of frustrating to me. Um, so, like, you can see here, this was the old camera icon. It's meant to look like the camera lens on your phone, on the back of your phone. Right. These are, this is where it evolved to, and this is, like, this is what it is currently. It looks like a DS, a whole-ass DSLR camera. Um, but 
this is more accurate to what it actually is. But even then, all of these are still skeuomorphic designs. How do you tell, how do you convey camera without using a camera? Um, I think that's an example of uh, good skeuomorphism because it it uses an image that in the context of what you have you would understand right. because if you're looking at that icon it's because you're holding the thing yeah. that has that that shape on it mm -hmm. so you can immediately know oh that is the shape of the lens on the phone i'm holding it's not like you know the phone symbol where if you've never seen a landline phone before with a handset, mm -hmm. you'd be like, what is that shape? You know, as you're holding a thing that's just a rectangle. Right. That does what that does. But you wouldn't know that. So to you, that's just a shape. Oh, uh, take note. You see up there, bottom left, where it shows the bit rate of the recording? With the 37 is the recording bit rate. Observe. <laughs> it gets angry. <laughs> Jumped up to like seventy six. <laughs> so, anywho, all right. Well, why don't we? Why don't we, I? Why don't we get going here, and we can discuss. We can discuss this further whilst I go around lost. Okay. So I think. That I do have to. Now, hold on. Alright. Do I have any? When I, f I remember when I first started playing. I don't have any just regular ass Titanite shards. I guess I'll just go buy some. I remember when I first started playing Symf uh, Symphony Ooh. of the Night. <laughs> Scholar of the First Sin. And I wasn't aware that they changed uh, so much of how the game is laid out. Because mm -hmm. I had actually played quite a bit of regular Dark Souls 2 before. Oh. So I was like, oh, right. all right, so I need to be careful in here because in here there's this guy who's really strong. And then I'd go around that corner and be like, wait, what the fuck? Who's, who are these people? But, uh... I'll be around. <laughs> but one of the things that, uh, threw me for a loop was I went... I forget exactly what the secret was I tried to look up. I was looking for a specific item or place or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the old guide said it was down in here in like these sewer areas down where like the right now there's like all those shield guys and the basilisks and stuff does she look fucked up to you uh i think she requires two thousand souls oh bollocks oh. do you have any souls in your inventory uh yes there you go two thousand perfect just what i needed oh hello I hope I didn't piss off. What? Move the path. I hope I didn't piss off Cobalt. I was just teasing. Um. He says no. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, done so soon. You Fucking just told me to leave. Um. <laughs> yes, Rouge's bathwater. Ugh, <laughs> gross. <laughs> uh, stop that. Go to horny jail. <laughs> now, see the problem with see the problem with horny jail is that you're taking a bunch of horny people and putting them in cells <laughs> together. Horny. That's it's, it's not an effective jail. You just put them there, and then stuff happens, and all the guards are like, "You stop it in there!" And they're like, "No." <laughs> you go into level two horny jail. <laughs> well, see, the problem with that is level two horny jails where it's a lot more like you know confined and bound up and stuff. But that's what that's the kind of shit that people who would go to level two horny jail would like. <laughs> 
All right, I have a torch. Hold on, let me make sure. Okay, we have we have adjusted the visibility appropriately. So this is how dark it's supposed to be. Yes. Um. Okay. Do 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 do. do. Uh, this looks yes. Hunts, yes. This goes to Huntsman's Cops. Watch out. For Cops? It. Can you look up how to pronounce that? Because I'm not sure it's. Uh, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it correctly. And I don't want to sound like an idiot on the internet. I do that enough as it is. Um, wait. No. Oh, yes. Yep. Okay. Uh. Bonfire cops. Lit. It is pronounced cops. Cops. Okay. Did you hear that echo? Yeah, but it's just... that echo is sick. No, oh, I doused my torch. Oh, what the hell? Get out of here. Now. You. Get out of here. Well, I think it's just like poison moss or whatever. Not worth dropping down a hole to get. I never go down there anyways. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. So, alright, so I've got my partisan. Why am I glowing all funny? Oh, it's my ring. Yeah, the Chloranthi ring. Have I picked up any other good rings? Ring of Binding, the old sun ring. That's three pounds?! <laughs> I don't understand the... Like... I, I, I have to say, it's just, it's three units. Right? It's not, it's not pounds, it's nothing like that, it's just units. Whoop! <laughs> nothing... in the universe... feels as scary... as... that slipping... when that slipping starts in a Dark Souls game. <laughs> It's like, no. <laughs> Whoa. Break the windows. Oh, I actually didn't know that was a thing. Hello, Washington. Hey, Washington. The torch timing is... <laughs> oh, <laughs> actually, you know what? That reminds me, uh, we should probably, in case there are people who don't know uh, what's going on. Uh, so, we are- Ow! What is happening? No, why are you targeting him? Ow! <laughs> Stop! Stop! Where- Ah, there's so many- No, you don't get to backstab me. <laughs> Fishing for backstabs. You- Oh, my word. <laughs> I'm gonna- What? Oh, because he was dead. <laughs> No, if there's anything that fills me with not joy, it's the thought of a permadeath Dark Souls. <laughs> so, what this is, is Panda and I are doing a race where we see who can beat Dark Souls uh, in the least number of streams, in, and it's the target is to beat beat the game, like kill Nishandra, uh, sit down on the throne, and do one of the DLCs. Um, so like, there. So there's a little routing flexibility. You can pick which DS. You can <laughs> listen. <laughs> Get out of here with these accusations. Why um, you? <laughs> so, uh, but because we don't want this to take forever. Um, come on. This is horseshit. Anyway, because we don't want this to take forever, we're playing with an easy mode mod that, um, you know, makes us deal a little more damage, take a little less damage, 
uh, get a few more, get so, get a little bit more souls from bosses, etc. Just to just to lighten things up a bit, uh, and a few settings like um, infinite torch because limited torch is stupid. Infinite durability because durability is and always has been stupid. Um, you know, a few things like that. So, uh, but we are playing, we are playing offline. Uh, so there's no like, there's no like help. We're not. We're not cheating at PvP or anything like that. Um, oop. <laughs> no, switch to the fucking bow. Oh, I know why I'm hearing an echo. Oh, because the... Somehow the TV got unmuted. What? No, just uh, give me that. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> there we go. I picked it up, and, All right. then it, it, and then it activated its bootleg Siri. <laughs> Yay. Okay, there we go. Uh-oh. You just dropped down. Can you? I don't, well, I guess we'll... Okay, that wasn't bad. It's Dark Souls 2. It's so hard to tell. Like... Five feet, you're fine. Five feet one inch, a little bit of damage. Five feet two inches, death. <laughs> Five feet two inches, ovaries explode on impact. <laughs> um, so I'm playing... Oh, <laughs> physics. Wee. So... Uh, we're, we're playing, uh, each of us are playing a different build that's more in line with our personal play style. Oh. Well, get wrecked. I did, I wasn't even trying to press the, uh, attack button. Um, I'm playing this sort of stabby little bit of a glass cannon, but not as much as I usually do. It's not like my usual, like, mage glass cannon build. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> but I'm still a very, uh, what are you doing here? Who are you? He's one of those whippy guys. Oh. Why is he here? No, I didn't. Are you coming down or not? <laughs> I have oh, never he's coming down because I shot him over there. And I oh. guess I didn't finish him off. <laughs> Try finger butthole. Um. Whoa, whoa, where did you come from? I was looking at chat. Around I need you to keep me up on chat or else I'm going to look away and die. So, the easy mode is not so easy that we can get lazy. Like, we... We, we can still get killed very easily if we get sloppy. I would... I would categorize it as normal mode <laughs> more than easy mode hello is the corpses having fun again don't forget to kick down the tree tree oh um <laughs> he wants me to get Excuse you killed me. no I, I I don't need I don't need to do that. No. <laughs> you're just you're you are very confused. Oh. There's a dude up there. But we can deal with him presently. No. We go shoost, shoost. Didn't I almost get you killed last time we streamed this? You get me almost killed lots of times. Like, but it was a specific moment where something happened. You were like, you nearly got me killed. Oh, here comes Big Chance. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm your steez, sir. You ready? Okay. I can't remember. Do you get invaded around here somewhere? Uh, probably... I need to remember the butterflies exist. Who? 
That seemed to be a very favorite tactic in this game, is the guys hanging off of ledges. Torch. Basically useless. Where is the... There it is. And... Get him. Splat. <laughs> I did it once, and then I nearly broke my ankles, so... <laughs> I don't think I'll ever hang from a ledge again of my own volition. Shoost. Shoost. Yeah, I saw you up there. <laughs> Did those souls just... It looked like those souls just went right past you and fucked off into the distance. Yeah, the souls are having a good time just today. I mean, we gotta pick our battle somewhere. And I have to ask myself. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Do I care enough about hanging from l ledges to get good at them? Spend all that time? Join me, Mr. Ray. And you, and you can call me Jay. It's so crazy to me that Raycons are... They're, they are Ray J's product. And they are named after him. But that kind of explains why they suck. Well, they suck at that price point. Ow. <laughs> like, they're not terrible earbuds, but for the money, you can get way better. Uh, you can get way better earphones. <laughs> Oh, well, there he is, the Forlorn. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. I ran out of staminas. Ow. I just noticed that uh, Ray has the silent, silence footsteps thing going on. Yep. Oh. Oh, I thought... <laughs> I thought Ray would got backstabbed. I was like, oh, goodbye, Ray. That's what I thought, too. I wonder... If he's got, like... I wonder if I could interrupt the backstab, and that's what happened. Which would be... That would that would be terrible. There's like, a lot imagine of... Imagine PvP if you're like, yeah, I landed a backstab, and then the that dude's helper <laughs> suddenly shows up and destroys you. Just walks up and boops you with his fist, just... Huh. <laughs> An immediate great sword to the face. Okay. Well, I did this stuff. Oh, there's this running man. <laughs> Just, you Where live is he your going? best life, sir. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is where I got Ray. No, it isn't. There's a guy in there you didn't kill. Him. Doggo! Doggo! <laughs> he's got places to be. <laughs> he just realized he's late for work. Go fuck! Oh, there's the... I had a shift today! <laughs> shit, 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 shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a... That is a mood. Well done, Ray. Thank you. Rope gauntlets. Nice. The bridge is down. Proceed. I feel like Dark Souls 2 had... Like, when it comes to, like, memorable locations... I think Dark Souls 2 had, like, the most. At least for me. Like, I'm not saying that it had the most memorable. But I am saying that it had the most number of memorable locations. <laughs> Not an Orlando. Oh, fuck. I mean, you could go along the dangerous ledge instead. No, wrong arrow. I could go along the dangerous ledge, that is true. And get invaded, but... 
You have to deal with less skeletons and necromancers keeping them alive forever. <laughs> this is the quietest skeleton in the history of anything ever. <laughs> well, they don't make the they don't make the shink sound that they make when you kill them, which uh this was the f this was the first game where they did that. It didn't do the it didn't do the shink sound in Dark Souls One. At least that I heard the last time I played it. Well, those those bones. Whoa, whoa! Curse! Oh, curse, curse, curse! Stop, stop, you fool! Stop, for God's sake! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and yes, I know I'm not killing them. Oh, thank you, Mr. Oh, Skeleton. What a nice skeleton! Now go murder the Necromancer, for, as, that's his reward, it's true death. Oh, thanks. Bye, Ray! So, like, those dudes just disappear after a while. They have, like, a time limit. Dumb. Alright, I did like that. Okay. Speaking of dumb, I have to see if there's a way I can get carry and combo warriors and the seamless co-op mod. <laughs> To work in tandem because I think that would be a hilarious good time to play that with you and Soren. Die. Alright. Um not this way. Um I think you have to go out onto the ledge area for a brief bit. Nope. Or, no, this is where I came from, but there were two exits. There's this, so I turn here. See, you don't have to go out on the ledge. You're on, you're on the ledge. I don't know what you're talking about. Thunk. Mm. Go up here to be invaded. Good. I remember this one being a pain in my ass. Target. <laughs> I remember this one being a pain in my ass. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I almost feel bad. It's like Goku beating up Android. <laughs> Android 15. 15? Wasn't it 16, 17, 18? Android 16. No, 16 was Big Green Man. Aha, the Undead Lock. It was the fat android before that. And, T and Team Four Star is ow, 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 <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I'm a man on the ledge. There he goes! Shit, 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 shit! <laughs> what is that dude's deal? Like, is there some lore to him? He's so unique. He's so weirdly unique. He just. <laughs> New. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Washington says you're a legend. No. <laughs> nope. I. No. <laughs> Reject. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, fine. You're a lame. Piece Not this of time. Shit. Nope. Nope. Look, it's Captain Anson. Who are you? I thought you'd have. You've sent me free. The cheeky pr I am Creighton. Jesus Creighton. Yeah, 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 I know. Bloody, 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 blah. You. See, be careful of Pate. He got locked in here by Pate. Pate's a douche. Right, Except I got maybe he got, he got locked in here by Pate because he's a douche who is dangerous. <laughs> Alright, like. Bonfire. Now he will be available to summon later, I believe. And I did not go. No, you're not getting away from me. Ah, the legend has been like beat. I thought maybe he had like a cool item and that was like the thing. If you kill the runny. Um. <laughs> oh no, they T-pose in death. 
<laughs> um. <laughs> How has this happened? <laughs> you cannot truly <laughs> defeat them. Uh, no, I'm I'm back here again. Go back out onto the ledge through that wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Go out on a ledge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> recheck to see if Thief is T-posing. Yes. <laughs> Owie. I think the Thiefy Hollows and Dark Souls 1 were a lot more threatening. Some of them, yeah. The 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 assassiny dudes yeah. in um the the assassin dudes in No Man's Wharf are pretty horrible because they hit you a ton and like they hit over and over and they do bleed damage. All right, onward. Oop, hold on. Shit, Lord detected. Takes care of him. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Eat death. Eat dicks. Eat chocolatey covered cocoa death, crow! <laughs> so that's blocked off. So we go down here. That goes back into the cave. Right. But it goes into a part of the cave I have not been. Whence I shall... Hey, a free torch. Nice. Ooh. Rick. Can you... target the stupid skeleton? It's too dark. Light level affects your uh, targeting distance. Yes, yes. What if you know to buy? Why don't you seem to know that? <laughs> I'm <got> Yajirobe now. <laughs> uh, I think I could cosplay a mean Yajirobe. Yeah, he probably could. There's nobody in. Uh, there. <laughs> there. There they go. They're again. doing it again. There's nobody in. Uh, in Dragon Ball Z that I could cosplay as. They're all either ripped or short. Yajirobe. <laughs> we. I don't know. I think you could do a good Gohan. <laughs> Wait, which Gohan? Adult Gohan. Okay. No, he's ripped. Not all the time. Have you seen the thing? The sad state of the things Whoa. he does to hit. They've been doing to him in Super. It's been an ongoing problem where Ooh. people are constantly angry because every time they go back, it's like, oh no, we need Gohan! It's like, well, Gohan's not been training. <laughs> so he's weak as shit. <laughs> Can't fly? Nope. Is it because you're fat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo. All right, Cray Crayton. Crayton. All, All right, right Crayton. Crayton. All right, Crayton. Come on. All right, all right, Creighton. Now, you be good. You be useful. Don't make me quick kill you. <laughs> With his task completed, Creighton returns. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Okay. Kinda low on life gems. I am kinda low on life gems. And Estus flasks. Why do I have so few Estus flasks? I don't think you picked up enough Shards. You have the same amount that I did. Here we go. Lifeless and gemless. And also maidenless.
tank it. How on earth? Ow, ow, please, Creighton, I need you to aggro one of them. You're gonna have way more <laughs> in a second. I just need to get rid of these dudes. I can deal with the rest once they're dead. Get fucked. Get rid right. of the scary the wheels are the most dangerous ones. I think I got I think I dealt with them. I think ow, go away. I can't remember if it's just two spawn or if it's one per lord. Uh, these guys are way more threatening than the lords were. <laughs> See, something that I like about the Dark Souls and the- Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> about the Dark Souls skeletons. I am killing these things, right? They are- they're not, like, coming back. No, there's no necromancers. Okay. Um, something I like about the Dark Souls skeletons is that they aren't done up. Like, they don't have angry faces or anything like that. They're just- Whoa! They're just skeletons. Which I find way creepier than Ankyman skeletons. Yeah, because like, it's more like what they actually would be. Yeah. Which is creepier, because it's like, this is inside of me, and will be one of the only things left of me after I die. Unless, of course, I die... <laughs> Unless, of course, I die in a horrendous, fiery, incinerating explosion <laughs> that reduces my bones to ash, in which case... <laughs> I will just be dust in the wind. <laughs> okay. Which, I don't know. All we are is dust in the wind. I'd rather be All dust in the wind than a decaying, bloated lump in the ocean. So plastic. <laughs> I mean, at this point, would you be surprised if that's what was, was left of me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we got past the skeleton lords. Without, without too much. Uh, Without too much difficulty. Right. Okay. So this goes to the Iron Keep. Because I had, I got done with the Skeleton Lords. And then I was like, okay, onward to the next bonfire. Where's the next bonfire? Where's the next bonfire? <laughs> I'm scared. Where's the next bonfire? Because I literally walked right past the bonfire. So, this is Earthen Keep? Or Harvest oh. Valley first? Oh, yeah, Earthen this is Harvest Valley. And then you have to right. go through. You have Boy, to go I don't through. remember. How do I not remember this at all? Oh, yeah, because uh, if you look to your right, yep. there it is Beyond the Poison. Alright. Fun fact. The poison sticks on you. Yeah, I know. It's bullshit. So, one of the first things that I'm going to do in Harvest What's a Medusi is I'm going to go find Gavlan. Gavlan. Excuse me. So that I can. And Ladder Friend. I knew you. Well, Gavlan, Gavlan is my main target, because one, I know exactly where he is, um, and two, once I talk with him, he'll go to the doors of Pharaohs, and he will be there for the rest of my life, so. Um, Bear, seek, seek, last. Upgrade, partisan. Nice. All right. Get some big ups there. And have I picked up any Twinkling Titanite? I have not. But I can upgrade my hat! <laughs> Yay! Upgraded three levels. Not bad. <coughs> it is now a better hat. It sure is. How do you smith a hat? <laughs> You're like, here's my hat. Bup, Please be bup, gentle with bup. it. <laughs> the aspect is just mangled. It's like, there, it doesn't... <laughs> It's mangled and filled with shards of rock. He's like, there, it's better now. Okay, hear me out, though. <laughs> um, when you get a new baseball field cap, like the fitted kind that are designed to be worn like on the field, right? The first thing that you need to do to make it comfy 
is beat the hell out of it. Like, <laughs> because otherwise it's going to be all stiff and uncomfortable. So, like... I mean, true. Like, it would make it... It definitely makes it more... It would make it more supple and comfortable to wear. But the thing is, you're upgrading it with rocks. <laughs> so he's literally just pounding Titanite in the gravel all over your hat. <laughs> So, which I guess would make, like, if you've got rocks stuck in your hat, that would make it defend better against, I guess, bl <laughs> like, sword slashes and stuff. I feel time. like all that would do is when you get hit with a sword, now a rock goes into <laughs> your skull. Yeah, when you get hit on the head with a club, it just sh pierces your skull with titanite shards. Hello, light side. Is that a shard? Hey, light side, welcome. Yes, it's a shard. Give me... just. Oh, I didn't want this. I wanted you to do the shard. <laughs> Free shrapnel to your head. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. Punch in the race command. Oops. I'm like, I'm sitting here explaining the race every time, but I have a that? race command. Yeah. Or I had a race command. Never mind. I don't have a race command. <laughs> Um, okay. Anyway, tell. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've maxed out. I've well, not maxed out, but I've brought my dexterity up to the soft cap. <laughs> we explained what we were doing earlier. If you weren't here to hear it, tough. <laughs> yeah, come into our streams earlier. The streams that you don't know. Are live because you've probably never heard of us until this goddamn moment. <laughs> Which How is proving dare to me you? that we need to just be a dedicated souls channel. <laughs> I mean, look, if we want to become big, we just need to pick a game and main it. <laughs> like, I I guarantee you, I will bring in a broader audience. Well, broader, a larger audience once I start my speed my super metroid speed run grind because people like to watch that shit uh we still need more vitality for that armor set you want to wear right your vigor is incredibly low but wait for what armor i'm already wearing the armor set i want to wear are you i think so i don't think so you didn't or no the you you were wearing you were wearing the alon knight set weren't you Yes. Is the armor you wanted? But this one is actually pretty damn good. I didn't expect the armor that they gave me to be this good already. <laughs> Second beefier. Thicker. No, see, you didn't spell it right. It needs two C's. But I do want to make sure that I have the headroom on the equip load for, like, rings. Because rings are ridiculously heavy for some reason. <laughs> Imagine putting the a ring, ring on your finger and it's like the goddamn one ring and it weighs a million pounds <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> That sun ring weighs more than twice as much as my hat. <laughs> it's, it was made in the heart of a neutron star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I should probably... I guess Adaptability, endurance. endurance. Get that stamina up. More dodging, more stabbing. More stabs. All right. Have you noticed how ridiculous the stamina usage on things like uh, bows and crossbows is in this game? Kinda, yeah. All right. How many? I have two Ferris lock stones. That should be plenty for now. Just ridiculous quantities of life gems. Life gems. Um, I you really need knives when you've got a bow. I don't always want neat. I don't always want to flip flop between bow and stab. But the throwing knives are a quick way to do some range damage. Um, you need some fire pots. I don't really use them that much. They're hard. They're hard to use. 
Oh, you just press the button. They Boop, don't, and they go wee. They don't have a predictable angle, as you learned when you threw one into the wall behind you. Right, <laughs> but that's Dark Souls too, and that can happen to any of your projectiles. All right. Thank you. Do I, have... <laughs> I do. Thank God. Here, here, lady. Oh, I'm here. You yes, I, yes you are. Give equipment. Please have this priestess robe. Do you have any priestess pants? Ooh, peasant long gloves. Those would probably be okay. And... <laughs> A tattered... <laughs> some giant rust of mist <laughs> leggings. <laughs> it's like, oh, so beautiful and elegant. Clonk. Um, I mean, she's wearing that robe. She doesn't need pants. Yeah, you don't need you don't need pants. Yes. And she'll wear it next time you lo load in. Ooh, some. Uh, Those rings do dick all. What are they? Element protection rings. Yeah. yeah. Like the only reason why I would particularly want a fire defense item is so that I can walk on fiery paths but they don't do dick against fiery paths. And they don't stack, so I can't wear, like, four of them. I mean, you might want them I'm in case you're here. getting wrecked by a guy using all fire damage. When that happens, I'll consider buying one. Oh, I didn't want to... Wait. Did she switch her... Did she switch? Yay. Yay! If I if I find some good pants, <laughs> some shoes, some shoes, I'll give you. And yes, if Why there can't if we have that hair, <laughs> if there is a dress up in a game, I will play it. I mean, okay. we're already kind of playing it. Oh, see, it's called Fashion Souls. Okay, now where was I? I was in Harvest Valley. I did everything that I needed here, Majula. Uh, yes. I'm about to find Rock Lady. Which is nice. Did I... Did I... Wait a minute. Did I get access to Duff? To McDuff? No. No. I do need to get access to McDuff at some point. Because he sells large Titanite shirts. Warm. <laughs> Great. No, <laughs> oh, I'm covered with goo. <laughs> Are you a traveler? Oh, yes. I, but I must put it. Oh, love it. Um. Here, this is a huge ripoff, but I'm gonna do it just so that you like me. Okay. The some of them trying to. Do 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 do. I, I, I've perhaps we'll meet again. Okay. I suppose it's about time I moved shop. Yes. Your hair is stupid. <laughs> Her hair is kind of stupid. <laughs> like that man died hugging the wall. He died as he lived, hugging a wall. <laughs> Maybe it was wall humping, like in Doom Two, looking for secrets. Whoop. I know that there's a 0% chance that these poison arrows will poison this dude, but I'm using them anyway. <laughs> uh, the iron arrows do a lot more damage, damage. Eat death skeleton. Ain't nothing without a necromancer. That's true. So if I, if I shoot, oh man, I didn't even kill him. Maybe if you headshotted him. Yeah, but what if I nut shot him? <laughs> that was right in the knee. His adventure days are over. <laughs> and all oh, what adventures he had, crawling around in the stew. <laughs> okay, boost poison resist probably doesn't work particularly well. 
They rarely do. Where were my invincibility frames? Hacks! <laughs> Oop. Damn. Uh -huh. Get to the right menu. Where's my moss? I got moss. Where is right it? Right there. Where? Up. Use like gem. I like to think those aren't actually gems, they're just weird gushers. Dude, now I want gushers. God damn it. But like gigantic gushers. Yeah. So they're not even good. Wonder if we could <laughs> because like Because there's just too much gusher. I wonder if we could make like homemade gushers. Like how would you even do that? While I'm uh, waiting for my poison to go down. <laughs> with a lot of seaweed. What are we at, an hour? 20 gigabytes? It's only been an hour. Jesus. 4K, man, it's what, it's, it's, that's the issue. Uh, well, just, Oh my... Fuck. I'm gonna get poisoned. Ow. Run. No, menu. Use. Leave menu. Stab bones. Stabbing bones effective. For some reason. What's going on in chat? Poison to desperately try to avoid dying. Yeah, that sounds about right. I love how when it says you're poison, it's like exclamation points. We need to put exclamation points before and after the word. I can get more of these gavelin sells them. So I don't need to be stingy. Watch your health though. Oh yeah, my health, fuck. Uh, I got greedy! I got greedy! Leap! <laughs> Thank God for big jumps. Why is he so tough? Yeah, why are you such a hero? He had the shield. He that did. meant he was actually a warrior. Okay. That should be enough. Because we have, like, a higher resolution... This game runs 420p native. <laughs> Uh, um, in order to get the good encoder on YouTube, you have to, small channels like us have to upload 1440p at least. So, I was just upscaling to our ten, old 1080p VODs and reels and stuff when we uploaded them to YouTube, but I decided we have this whole other computer for streaming, it's got the oomph, let's just record at 4K to start with. But, uh, it turns out 4K video takes up a lot of fucking hard drive space. Uh, where's the, where's the hole? <laughs> Where'd the hole go? That's not something you ever want to be asking. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was right there the whole time. Ran right past it, like a thieb. <sighs> do, 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 do. What I want to know is, I'm going to go burn that windmill, right? Right. And that's going to do poisony stuff, right? It's going to make the poison go away. Mm -hmm. It makes the poison over there, in front of the bonfire, also go away. There's like a Why? There's, there's a little tube. That's yeah. how it got there. It just bubbles up. Take a left. Deal with skeletons. Deal with skeletons. Pick up item. Ooh, fragrant branch of your. My man! Let me steal your shit.
Mmm. Raw stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I need... Not those. I need a bunch of this shit. But I can afford one. <laughs> that's expensive. Oh, cool. But that's okay because... You can sell a whole bunch of shit you don't need. Yeah. I w okay. One thing... I don't need the spear. Okay. One thing that they added in... I'm gonna keep this. And this. Just in case. Not this though. Wait. Avalyn. Is this good? I don't know. I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that too, just in case. And I'm gonna keep this large leather shield just in case. So like, look at this fucking staff! <laughs> literal S tier. Do 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 Oh, that's the number of... I'm dumb. I'm looking at the two there and thinking I have two. Okay. Then what was the number, though? I... Down there where it says held. Oh, oh that's how many souls you're getting for it. Yeah. Because okay. for a second there, I was like, How did you get 200 wounded and silky stones? <laughs> Hex! <laughs> Um, but something they did in Dark Souls 3 that I liked, uh, compared to this, was that they had, like, you could just, there was a lady who would sell you shit, and, like, buy your shit, you could just, like, sell your stuff to the merchant lady from the get-go, and... Yeah, it wasn't, like, this huge mission yeah. to collect all the merchants. And if this fading soul gives you a hundred when you use it, you could sell it for a hundred. So you didn't have to sit through the animation every time. Yeah. You wanted some more souls, you just go to a lady and the bing, 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 bing. There you go. I don't need these. Our trochies. Uh, these aren't worth a ton. Burr. Oh, this is worth good, and I don't need it. But it restores HPs. Yeah, but so do these items that are w way less, uh, way less valuable. Okay. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need... Oh, wait. Remind me... I forget. Oh, it's the soul stones. You you don't have to remind me of anything. It's a race. I want to try. I want to try. Respecking my dexterity to garbage tier. Then putting a mundane stone so that it's my lowest stat. Putting a mundane stone on a weapon, and then respecking again to bring my dexterity up to god tier and see if it makes my weapon amazing um but i don't know how useful that would be because the partisan is already s tier dexterity scaling but it might be good for something like it might be good for something like the bow which only has a tier <laughs> put it on your shield <laughs> The most godly shield. Now you can buy more moss. Yeah, which I need. You can get ten more moss. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy all the moss. It's a lot of souls, but... Do-do-do-do, free arrows! 
See, I'd feel bad about this, except that Panda can also get free air. <coughs> there's a, there's kind of a bug. Um, there's kind of a bug with the easy mode. Yeah, mundane just scales with whatever stat you have is the lowest. Is it always the lowest? Because that's not what the that's not what the wiki implied. It implied that it would set the scaling to the lowest when you got it, and then it would just scale with that. But if it always scales with the lowest, that's a terrible thing. Nobody would ever do that. <laughs> why? Why would you do that? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but. It always scales with the lowest? Well, then never mind. That's actual trash. What a stupid game mechanic. Anywho, um, what was I, what was I saying? I mean, it might be harder for a person to remember that, but you just have a flag on the weapon. Lowest stat, like when you, when you hit the mundane, right? When you... When you go tink with mundane, you just flip a flag that says dexterity, and now that's what it scales with. That that wouldn't that wouldn't really be that hard. Okay. Gavlan has been found and moved. <coughs> oh, I did it again. I did it again. You. Thunk, thunk. Thunk, thunk. Yeah, I agree with that. Mundane is mundane is a good word. Thunk. <coughs> Very. That's it's an S tier word. It rolls, it rolls off the tongue well. It does sound like what it means. Uh... Okay, so... I am now on r slash Dark Souls 2. Oh good, <laughs> Reddit always has the correct answers. <laughs> uh... And this is a big post about the mundane infusion. Finally right. decided to investigate the extremely weird mundane infusion, and well, it's kind of overpowered. It's all about what, that you can't what you can't see actually. The status screen you see on the infusion screen tells you the weapon is going to be crap. It's lying. Let's take a few examples. For reference, my stats are 40-40. Results might be different with lower stats, but I don't think so. 40-40? Yeah. What does that mean? Is he say like strength dexterity, or? Is he saying all the stats are 40? I think he's saying all the stats are 40. Okay, it's an interesting way to put it. Longsword plus 10 does 225 plus 140. Becomes 112 plus 205. Weaker, what's wrong with that scaling? Hmm. Oh, there's a bonfire in here. Let's try with the dagger. Plus zero, 57 plus 112 becomes 28 plus 205. Get back here. Mass on Halberd, 205 plus 140 becomes 102 plus 205. That 205 is getting very interesting. At that point, my best guess is that the game stops using weapon scaling and instead decides the weapon scales SS for the physical part, ending up at 205 irrelevant on the weapon use. Edit. Incorrect. It scales based on your lowest stats. See below. So, let's see. Uh, update, I'm now the proud owner of a, of a plus 10, of a 10 plus 205 damage ladle. Fear me. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. Adding Taurus of Chronos to reset my strength decks and see what happens. Stay tuned. Update 3, confirm scaling on stats. 10 strength, 20 decks gives 115 instead of 205. Mystery solved. 
Added damage scales with your lowest stat. Plus 115 was with a 5 in faith. 205 was with 20 in faith and 20 in attack. And now that I've slightly remapped my build, it's plus 217 with a lowest of 24. Yes, it does take all of your stats into account. Lowest score physical, uh, low score permanent physical scaling. Uh, if your lowest score is four, <laughs> if your lowest score is a four, you get 74 additional damage. But if your lowest score is 41, you get 211 additional damage. And it's always the lowest score. Right. There, got you, you piece of shit. Okay, I got some large titanite shards. I didn't get any more twinkling titanite. But I got a large large shard, so I'm gonna go upgrade my stuff real quick. Mundane is actually massive scaling condition on your lowest attribute score. It is deprived of weapons. Basically, if you are 20s across the board, you are hitting as hard as a normal plus 10 weapon. And if you go beyond that, you surpass it. I can see this being good in two specific situations. Hex-spaced melee, who are spreading their stats super thin, and very high-level characters. I knew you. Uh, no, I didn't want to buy it. Reinforce. Oh, I need more souls. I have the slab, but I have no souls. Yeah, because that's the thing, is if you go back to your partisan, see how even though it's already S tier, it says it'll improve it to S tier? Right. It, there S are levels, levels of tiers. So at S, it can probably just keep going and going and going. If there's one thing I hate about almost all RPGs, it's that this this screen means nothing. None of these numbers mean anything valuable. The only way you can find out what these numbers mean is by fucking reverse engineering the game or and doing extensive testing and research. And how is that useful or good? Just make the numbers mean at good things useful things uh, I need souls well, I got seven of these so that's what 70 no 350 they're 50 piece um, I might I could probably get some more by taking these smooth and silky stones over to uh, Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Have we looked up what their fucking name is yet? Uh, Bert and Ernie. <laughs> They're Bert and Ernie now. Don't look it up. That's their name. <laughs> oh, which one's Bert and which one's Ernie? Um. <laughs> and which one's Bort? <laughs> Come along, Bort. No, my son is also named Bort. <laughs> okay. You, you, give us move. Give us you. Give us Silky. I didn't mean to do that. I smooth and silkyed myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that does. Um. These are, in fact, smooth and silky. They don't get very good stuff, but it's not like I'm using prism stones anyway. <laughs> what does the smooth and silky stone do? I don't know. I didn't know you could use them. <laughs> I didn't either. They make me smooth and silky. Faint stone. Life gem, life gem, rubbish, <laughs> Neat. small yellow burr, small orange burr, small blue burr, titanite shard, nice. small yellow burr, life gem. Okay. 
Let's just uh, do what needs to be done with trash. Which is to throw it over your shoulder into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> the ocean is nature's being. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Just use the plastic cup. I'm giving you permission. Plastic cups are just like glass beakers, except when you're done, you can throw them in the ocean. <laughs> uh, if you're not familiar with the channel um, Explosions and Fire, uh, go subscribe to it. Um, do I have anything else that might qualify as smooth and silky? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Do you so. like goopy? That's not s silky. That's gooey. <laughs> uh, what about these spells? Are these spells smooth and silky? <laughs> okay. That, oh, yeah. There's the dull ember. So I have that. Well, I'd hoped to get some souls, but they kind of screwed me on the souls here. So... Ow, 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 ow. I guess I'll just go stab some people. What an inconvenience. Um, well, if you want to farm quick, I'll pop over to Hyde's Tower of Flame. Yeah, that's that's good souls for relatively low risk. That was um, always my preferred first farming spot. Did I go to the twenty percent right of your HP? Okay. Huh. Neat. They'll take what I give them. And they'll like it. I thought you missed. Uh oh. So did the I. Soldiers are angry. The soldiers are angry. Okay, he's done. Ow. Alright, need you to sit down, sir. Okay, I don't want to spend a ton of time grinding. Grinding is large. Ow, largely a waste of time. I just want to upgrade my stuff. Stab, stab, stab. Yeah. Get stabbed. Get stub. Dub that snub. Let us never forget the time that this guy went on a magical journey. <laughs> I think that's enough. Whoa! There's an item. Lloyd's talisman. Why did Lloyd leave it here? Didn't he like it anymore? <clears throat> Every Lloyd talisman you find is where one Lloyd died. <laughs> Wasn't there a dude up here? He came running down. Did he? Yeah. Oh. Saw you murdering his friend. He was like, <laughs> well, I'll show them. Burgack. <laughs> Travel. Back to Majula. Uh, I was telling Panda, haven't had Mellow Yellow in forever, but verdict is it tastes like store brand Mountain Dew. I think it's a little better than store brand Mountain Dew. I bet but you. But it doesn't. It doesn't taste particularly special, you know. I bet you, if I did a blind taste test with a bunch of store brands and Mellow Yellow, you wouldn't be able to pick out the Mellow Yellow. Yeah, well, I trust your taste about as much as I think you. If we did a blind taste test with a bunch of soup and a bowl of shit, <laughs> you'd think the bowl of shit was minestrone. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me? I'm out of souls. That took a lot of souls. But I have a maxed out partisan. Let's go. Alright, so back to... let Back to land of garbage. Do you guys know the non-PVP use for Lloyd's Talisman? Hold on, let me look at the description. Also, apparently those mushrooms, like the Elizabeth mushrooms, are an incredible healing item. Like, they... Because they heal, like, over time, right? Mm-hmm. And it, it, the time that they heal is, like, forever. Um, like, they, they actually, if you don't want to, if you don't want to, like, use poison monster or whatever, like, you can use it to just be poisoned forever. Hmm. Uh, Lloyd's Talisman, Lloyd's Talisman, Lloyd's Talisman. Blocks Estus recovery within a limited area. Doesn't that, that works for, like, invaders, doesn't it? 
Right. Or does that count as which like the NPC invaders, not like other players? I believe you, I believe you can hu also huck them at chests. And if it's a mimic, it's like it gets sleepy and then you can get the item out of it f without fighting it. Who tries that? Who sees a mimic and is like, I'm going to chuck this thing at it that prevents Estus recovery? Because that makes sense. <laughs> Data miners. We. <laughs> is this <laughs> cheating? That is such cheating. <laughs> I don't think there's anything useful in all the, like, like side paths In the paths mines, here. yeah. Like, maybe for certain builds. What? So I think I just go through here? <laughs> Bull shit. A little quick on the draw, aren't you, lady? Right, I'm gonna iron arrow this dude. Well done. I like how they have a shared health pool. Yeah. Where? You know, you know, in Elden Ring, if you killed the guy on top, the guy at the bottom would keep going, be a rampaging hell monster. That's how they'd do it. And over there, you can see the schmulk. The what? The schmulk. What is a schmulk? <laughs> Him. He's he's the incredible schmulk. Oop, he's coming. Because he's big and green, but largely unimpressive. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I need a babe to petrify my something. That bonk. Oh, this was dumb! Fuck! Jesus Christ! You got hit by all of them. Yeah, where's where is this bitch? She's like way up high on a ledge. Whoa, whoa, he's bad. Okay. All right, where is this? Where are you? Higher. She's like way up. I'm looking at all the highest ledges. There's, There's an assassin a guy just staring at a rock wall. <laughs> hmm, some interesting rock formations here. Hey! My ass! <laughs> oh, he's headless. Oh, oh, he's one of those. He's one of the mannequins. I mean, they're assassins. Yeah, I would like to go down and get those items, but I don't know where the lady is who is exploding me. Because now she's not exploding me. Ah! Uh... Where is she? <laughs> like, I don't see... I, I see no persons anywhere. And I'm afraid to just stand here because those fireballs destroyed They're coming me. from way up high. Not there. Hello? What the fuck? Bullshit. Unbelievable quantities of horse shit. Huh. Pots. I can't see. <laughs> At least you got a long spear. That is true, it does help. But uh, this poison will stick to my boots even from the floor, so I have to like sit here and wait for it to evaporate or whatever. No, 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 stop! <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> what are you even trying to do? Switch to my fucking bow! <laughs> well, why weren't you doing that then? 
Because the process of doing it is not intuitive. Like, I have my... I have my... Because I keep trying to press left to go to bow, and I just unequip the bow. What I need to do is, on one hand, press bow button to switch to bow, press right button to switch to aim, so it's like, but this, this, it's like this, 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 it's, it's this weird, this, 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 it's, it's, and then to shoot, it's back to L2, so it's like, Beep, boop, bop, boop. It's it's weird and unintuitive, and I don't like it. All right, someone's exploding me. I know this. Someone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Wait a little bit for poison to go away. Stabs. There's the Run! Get her! Oh my <laughs> god. Hey. Sorcerer's If I'm lucky, I'll get a whole kit of desert sorcerer stuff, and then I can take it to the... And I can take it to the lady. I'm... Thank you. What? What the hell? Where was he? I looked over there. <laughs> he was in that corner. Right. Ow! What the hell? I didn't know these guys just like whack you. <laughs> like I thought they just move slowly towards you and poisoned. But they got some whacking in them. They're hacking and whacking and slashing. Of course, because you're in the poison area. Why wouldn't it be filled with fart gas? <laughs> oh, a torch. Yay. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Anyways, uh... Whoa, what the... Oh. <laughs> I'm free! <laughs> it's like the scene from Hunchback of Notre Dame. I'm free! I'm free! Chunk. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> ah, I'm poisoned. It... Okay. Largely felt unnecessary, but... You know... Sometimes you just want to smash a pot. Time for a Oh, right! Bastard. It's the boss! I, uh, I wasn't ready! Where was the summon? I don't think you get a summon for this fight. I seem to recall having... Oh, well... I could just do fuckloads of damage. Woo. Okay, there well, we you go. You got a plus ten fucking partisan That's and dexterity true. through your anus. <laughs> like, you can stick cherries up to your asshole and tie the knot. <laughs> <laughs> That's true dexterity. You ain't no bitch basic slut. <laughs> <laughs> now see, there's an anime sequence <laughs> where it, it, it like flips to the girl and she's like, nah, and she ties the cherry stem into a knot, right? <laughs> and then it flips over to the other girl and she's just like, Also, we we oh. see. Neat. I guess that makes sense. He's just a giant blobby flesh monster. This doesn't feel right. Oop. Ow. Goodbye. What <laughs> the hell? I'm getting- I'm getting shot and- What the- ah! <laughs> Why is he already almost dead? <laughs> Get out of my way! 
Oh, he probably like smashed poison pots and poisoned himself. I find it interesting that the big green poison men, the poison area, surrounded by poison all the time forever, is particularly... is particularly weak to being poisoned. <laughs> yeah, it does seem a little odd. Uh... Smash. I'm not sure why, but smash. Um, I would really like to get this item. If you could go away. <laughs> <laughs> I too am weak to poison. Okay. Like you wait, you gotta wait for the poison to dry. And get off your shoes. Alright. Yeah. Run away! <laughs> I want to. <f> Whoa! <laughs> oh. My butt is clenched. <laughs> Why didn't they put a guard railing on these stairs? <laughs> this, this place isn't even close to OSHA compliant. What does this do? I think it raises that pot. Why would you need to do that? So that it stops getting broken and being a hazard? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a friend here. I'll just smash that. Arrows used to mannequins. Bye. Oh, here's an example of why throwing knife. Ow. To use bow, I would have to put torch away. <laughs> so I use throwing knives instead. Yeah. 100% not supposed to be able to go over here, or at least this way. We that I cut that jump. Real close. <laughs> yeah, that that foot was clearly stepping off of something that didn't exist. <laughs> yeah, it just raises the pot. Um. I don't feel like I'm going the right direction. Hello. A fool. Well, he has no head. He's not exactly thinking, is he? That's true. I got a pike. Pikes are nice and long, but they scare. But their scaling is terrible. If I could make, if I could make a pike scale good, it would be a very useful weapon. Got a mannequin saber. Now where is my hairbrush? Hello, hey, prick. Pigman. Just get a few hundred friends and form a fan like you scaled well enough to conquer all of Greece. Now. Poise is valuable. I have no idea why this makes the poison go away. Also, it doesn't stop spinning until you uh, bonfire. So it's like, it's burned. But not burned. <laughs> Aren't you fancy? Also, what was that aim, bro? I See, I can't get too mad at him, though, because a number of times when... <laughs> the number of times when I've tried to aim in this game and it has gone absolutely nowhere. Bonfire. Boosh. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and travel back to Majula.
don't need this. So, 6,000 souls, I'll take it. Grab a couple levels. Where... Can you please not stand so close to the edge? <laughs> Do you not understand yeah, that this is the one thing I fear? <laughs> Upgrade Estus Flask? No, I do not have Estus Flask. Sure. You must conquer your fear. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you have plummeted into as many inescapable death fits as I have, <laughs> then you have my permission to die. <laughs> uh, brain. Please, please, brain, do the brain. <laughs> do the Urkel. Do the Urkel. Swing your arms from <laughs> side to side. And I do that. Good night, Washington. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. I hope we will see you again soon. We'll be back on Wednesday. See, I can't get mad at him because I'm stabbing stairs. <laughs> Come on, prick. Mannequin gloves. Let me, uh... Get a torch. Oh, yeah, that too. It's so dark. Are there any souls here? Whoa, whoa, Gang whoa! Gang fight! <laughs> Take that, air. <laughs> you don't understand. Air is poisonous. We're all immortal, but air is killing us. That's, uh, that's my conspiracy theory for the day. Please let me know if you, if you bought that so that I can ban you from our channel. <laughs> You can't fish for... You can't fish for bands. <laughs> I like him just... Comp... Like... We all only live for a minute or two, but breathing <laughs> resets the timer. Is that why when you stop breathing, you die? <laughs> Wait a minute. No, that's just... Jesus, stop! <laughs> stop getting stabbed. What I said stop getting stabbed. Where did you come from? Who is stabbing me? <laughs> oh, there's a dude over there with a fucking bow. I thought there was a guy behind me who was like invisible and I was about <laughs> to lose my mind. Go away. <sighs> but, so anyway... We all only live for a minute or two, but breathing resets the timer. That's just the, that's just a dis description of the scientific definition of breathing. If you don't breathe, you die. Breathing resets your death timer. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's a good description of all our necess <laughs> necessities. Got to reset my, uh, got to reset my eating timer. <laughs> Life is just the Sims. No, don't shoot the boobs. Sh aim somewhere else. Why? Is it like a trophy buck where you're trying not to... <laughs> Don't shoot the head. That is a psychopath. <laughs> really fuck. Just the boobs on a mount. <laughs> oh. I don't. I don't like where we've gone. I, I didn't go back. Go there. <laughs> you went there. Hello, lady. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Aye. I'm surprised it wasn't filled with poison. <laughs> yeah. Hey, item. What? Oh. Corpse it's item. Probably just boobs. <laughs> <laughs> no! I don't want this! <laughs> <laughs> I 
Swing your stupid <laughs> arms from side to side. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I don't like how sometimes I press the spear button and this stupid bitch is just like, hit me, hit me more. <laughs> well, I'd be like that too if you were controlling me. I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> Filled with rage. <laughs> Don't be filled with rage. Hello? <laughs> Someone yeeted themselves into an early grave. I'm not supposed to be able to do this! You're not supposed to be able to do that! <laughs> uh. Hacks! <laughs> Okay. Got a soul. That's good. I'll take it. We. So, I'm not really sure how I'm meant to how I'm meant to get over there. I think it's a dr drop down. Wait, go down. I can see dick all. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Dark Souls 2, everybody. I feel like the physics are having trouble today. I hear men's. I hear men's too. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Would you like some help, sir? Pop another life gem. This place is... I'm going through life gems like crazy. Um... What am I hearing? I knew it! The walls! My greatest aunt nemesis! Stop! Probably <laughs> oh, going through life gem so fast. Now, I believe this is an elevator? But I can't remember. Wait, have I been here? No. No, I have not. But there's a friend here. <laughs> Ow. I think this is where you can find Gilligan. Gilligan? That was Bashful Ray. He doesn't look that bashful to me. He looks like a confident man. Fuck that wall. Uh, oh, is this a... This feels shortcutty. Yeah, now you're here. Yeah, the I'm bonfire's here. just down there. Right. So... Is that I means... All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break grab. the fence. Break the fence. What? Why do I need to break the fence? Oh, watch out for that guy. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people die to that guy because they don't know he's there. And they just—I imagine they just push themselves off the edge, like collision kills them. Yes. <laughs> but if you keep going. Wah, whoa! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurts so bad. I wish death more. <laughs> Pick me up! Don't leave me like this. Oh, hey! Shush. You idiot. Stay quiet. I'm on the run. Don't give me away. Sorry, I didn't mean to. You're a fugitive <laughs> too, eh? N no. <laughs> yeah. Why else would you be here? Um, Shankin' that's, dudes? That's a good question. Why am I talking you to this to, dude? Uh, what? Have you no... I... I yeah, here you go, have some. And cutscene. Uh, go on ahead. Oh. Uh, buy item. I would like to buy one ladder, please. I don't know what this is useful for, but I would like it just in case. Uh. Okay. 
do find it all the best all right so this is shortcut ish uh get you down to that ledge where there's an item uh I don't need it <laughs> I don't need a thing that I could easily climb down to and come back up there were dudes down there. Also, that explodey lady is down there somewhere, waiting to explode me. Well, don't get exploded. Oh. <laughs> well, he's Ladder having kill. a bad day. <laughs> now go that way. Are ladder kills better or worse than railing kills? <laughs> I feel like there's more injury to be had on a ladder kill. That may as be. Hello? Oh, I'm poisoned. Uh, oh, there you are. Go! Why am I... Oh, because I have poison on me. Uh... Was he just checking you out? Yes. He had binoculars. Alright. Ray! Do something! <laughs> Thank you! Okay. Victory achieved. Take care of this prick. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Dad, yeah, why am I rolling so much? <laughs> I think he just fucks up Ray's backstab. Oh well. He tried. Alright, Ray, we got another friend. Who is it? It is Jester Thomas. Uh, Jester's outfit, I believe, makes you immune to backstabs. But I also gotta watch out for this fuck lord because he will blow me up. Alright. You guys coming? Are we ready to go? Let's do this. Mitha! The queen full bail! Wow! I, I hit the button and it... Alright guys, get over here. Try not to get poisoned, please. Ow. <laughs> How did none of you get grabbed? Yeah, that was that was impressive, honestly. That uh Thomas. You need to get closer for the big kabooms, the Reacher. Okay, watch out for him. Hold on. Don't... don't you... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he keep... When it ends, he just runs up to you and keeps trying to explode you. I don't know why he does this. <laughs> you're not supposed to... Th you're not supposed to program in troll friends. I don't know... I don't know if it will kill you because he hasn't hit me with it, but it's scary every time. Okay, now, finally, the Iron Keep. We got there in the end. So this is the point where I had done that fight, right? And I was like, okay, let's get to the next bonfire. Why is there not a bonfire after her? Where's the bonfire? Is it, is it up here? Tum -de -tum -de -tum. Hey, Garrus. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh. Is it in here? No. Is it in? Is it in here? Oh, there's guys you have to fight out here. And then I went. I literally walked right down here, and went. No. <laughs> Thank you.
No. Okay, I'll just go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't know how I missed this bonfire. All right, back to Majula. More levels. More levels. More levels. Uh, how long have we been live? Two hours? Actually, now that I'm here, this seems like a good time for a quick bio break. So, don't go anywhere. We will be right back. What the fuck? You, you double tapped. Don't, don't double tap. Alright. Oh, yep, my camera got... My camera got moved. Hello again, everybody. Yes, and hello, Ferret. Welcome. Oh, um, camera went all jiggly. Uh, a little more. Uh, yeah, good enough. Okay. Oh. The buttons on that my on that con, on that uh remote are pretty freaking sensitive. Can't remember if I got any stones. Let's go see. Nope. Reinforce. Uh, nope. I'm missing shards. I could. I thought. I swore. I swear. I got some titanite. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Let's go put down some ladders. Uh, ladder two and ladder three. Uh, let's see. Set up ladder. Yes, I know. That one is good, and the 3500 one, I believe, is also good. The 500 one just literally gets you killed. Like, you'll start climbing down it, and it's super short, and you'll fall off, and it's a far enough drop that you just die. <laughs> I mean, does he secure it in any way, or...? <laughs> uh... Yes. See? It's... it's hung on the edge. It's just, it's secure. <laughs> that's not gonna fall off. What? No, I don't. That's... that's a waste. Uh. Also, what a very specific job. Uh. Cheers for that. <laughs> I'm a ladder smith. Uh, oh. oh, I could. <laughs> All I smith are ladders <laughs> that uh, are made of wood. He's got falcon. I don't think. I well, think uh, I've got like the best armor I'm gonna get without like grinding for armor. So, got eleven thousand souls. I think that's what a level. There, less. <laughs> level up. Yep, that is that, a level. The man has a purpose. Do not invalidate him. That would destroy him. I like Butts Boss version better. The man has a purpose. Staburger, not invalid. Staburgerate him. <laughs> that would destroy him. Uh, did I pick up an SF flask? No. Do I have... Have I picked up anything burnable? No. All right. The oh, Central Earthen Peak and Iron Keep. There it is. Okay, do not stabbergerate him. <laughs> um, just as a quick reminder and plug, if you like our channel and would like to help support us, one of the best ways that you can do that is with a subscription. Uh, you'll get our lovely emotes, and that's it. <laughs> it's like, you get like, oh, ad free, ad free Twitch viewing. We don't roll, we don't run mid rolls, so that doesn't really help you at all. And apparently Twitch doesn't care and will run the ads anyway. I think, I think Twitch runs at, runs ads at when you first go to a stream. 
Whoop, whoop, whoop. Where is she? You know how you really tell real players through for this game? Those who do the Crimson Tower shortcut. The what now? <laughs> no, stop. Stop swinging so much. That's certainly a move. What do you mean, fake players? Are we not, in fact, playing this video game? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Fakely? <laughs> I'm good. If I ever get, if I'm ever wealthy enough to afford help, like, you know, Butler made, like, that's the one thing I've thought of where it's like, if I had that, like, that's my stupid purchase. Where it's like, if I had bonkers amounts of money, what's this? What's the stupid purchase? It would be like life assistance. Those some would help me immensely. Help. Yeah, th those would help me immensely. Like just having somebody who can be like, I made appointments for you. Like yes, um, but I would absolutely call my butler fakely. <laughs> <laughs> I'd call him flakely. All right, come on, jerk. Get down here. <laughs> and also, yes, what you're actually seeing is someone else's, like, YouTube footage that we've, you know, full screened, and we're just pretending to play on top of this. Doing a damn also, good job of it, too. But also, <laughs> that would imply that someone is playing it in this manner that you're like, they're fake players so now we're the fakes of a fake no <laughs> uh, oh, well thank you ferret yeah 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 you're marigold uh, so I didn't know what this was before but uh because I didn't read the description at the bottom of the screen <laughs> but like He'll make spells easier to learn. Okay, what ring is this? Curse bite. Oh. Um, anything here worthwhile? Anything here? I don't really see anything. He does sell black fire bombs, which is nice. Um, but again, I don't particularly uh, use fire bombs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me, give me the thing. Give me the thing. Do I need to buy stuff from you? I thought... I thought you give me something. I guess not. Alright, and... Splash! Sprint! Oh, I didn't pick up the item, but whatever. Nah! Jeez! <laughs> What is the point of wet? I don't- I don't understand it. There's nothing in this game that makes you not get killed by fire. Nothing. Like that? You can't get that. You'll die. Uh, use one of my bajillion effigies. Come here, you. Item. Sweet. Chat is saying something and I can't read it because I'm afraid. Uh, Cobalt said he gives you something if you buy it of stuff, and Ferret says he has an option to burn incense. Just. What? Armor Dennis? What the fuck? Uh, he has an option to burn incense. Just help him light incense and agree to v veganism and kill him off when they're no longer <laughs> useful. Oh wait, it's this prick again. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> the strats. <laughs> Alright. Ow! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> 
Get down here and face me like a man. Ow. Get down here and face me like two men. <laughs> Get down and face me like two men. Did you? Um, I fake picked up an item? I've never seen that happen. Get wrecked. Pling. Okay. <laughs> eh. This game seems to have a problem with bad input. <laughs> it kind of feels that way. Or it's like, all right, I pressed a button to do the to drink the heal. Ow! <laughs> uh, he's using a partisan. Shoot! Ow! And he's shooting partisans. <laughs> Fucking great bows. It's a plus ten partisan of stabbing. It's the party partisan. Uh, excuse me. You're not supposed to be to get aggroed this far away. Ow! Ow! Right in the back of the thigh. Get, get over here and die. Whoa! <laughs> How are you still standing? Ultimate power. Okay. Huh. Well, keep in mind, ferret. Uh. If you haven't watched any of these previous streams, that this is with an easy mode mod. So we're doing more, a little more damage than normal. And also taking a little less damage than normal. And also, I've cranked my dexterity, and the partisan is an S tier, has S tier dexterity scaling. That's so. Stand there and take it. These things all kind of. Whoa! <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> there you go. Now he's poisoned. Farewell. Fuck this place, he says. Pardon the language, he says. In a place where we regularly talk about just massive dicks and fuck and shit and ass. Yeah. All right, I got myself a life ring plus one. I'm. This isn't gonna stay here as a part of my equip load, but since I have it, I'll use it. Cling. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is this? I think it's oh. like a hole in the ladder. Oh. Okay, so... Yeah, Ark's character has big decks. <laughs> Why can't it be both? And that's the safest bridge I think I've ever seen. <laughs> it's always great when you lower a bridge and it jiggles. <laughs> it's dick souls. That's the third set of that armor you've gotten. Yep, it's a pretty common drop. Shoost. Shoost. Um, it's honestly not great. Why are you... He's, he's having some troubles. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh. Ah, my thigh. My only weakness. <laughs> Fuck this guy. There he goes. <laughs> Do you best to execute him? <laughs> okay. And drop. And whoop. 
Ow. <laughs> Timing terrible. Uh, excuse me. What the fuck was that? Sometimes this character just does whatever the fuck she feels like. I used to... My great aunt Betty used to play... She might still, I don't know, but she used to play... Uh... Ocarina of Time. And Super Mario Sunshine. And Super Mario Sunshine. Mostly Ocarina of Time. Like, religiously. Like, any time she had free time, I'd find her playing, uh, playing Ocarina of Time. And she would yell at the screen, like, you, you oaf, why? <laughs> why aren't you doing the things I'm telling you to do? And I used to be like, Betty, they only do the things that you, on the buttons that you push. And now I'm almost 40 and I'm like, you oaf, why did you? <laughs> Now ferret is orange. What do you mean I didn't make them thrust when they attack? <coughs> no. Thrust, see? Am I missing something? Turn off the fire. You know, when Kraden misspells stuff, it just feels like goofy Kraden talk. But I think Ferret might actually have had a few before you're popping in to watch the stream. <laughs> I could use a few. Squeak. <laughs> <laughs> Large Titanite Shard and some petrified dragon bone. Which I still haven't found equipment that uses that it might be dragon weapons I would presume but I've never found any dragon weapons ding 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 oh ho oh, I did it again oops I did it again oh, I, I shat in my pants <laughs> <laughs> and now he is dead Mr. Torkel Man. Okay. I've prevented him from doing the thing. Doesn't one of those platforms break if you walk on it? No, he, th that dude will smash it. Like this, this one right here. He he like whams it with his hammer a few times. Oh, hey there, buddy. You, uh, you okay? And... Don't you pull this? <clears throat> Farewell. It was good knowing you. Or not knowing you, really. Marvin's Adagio for string starts playing for him. <laughs> okay. And now... This way. Yes. Well, someone's a critic. <laughs> and we go up here, and what do we find? A beer. A chest, but more importantly, I think this chest has a thunder ring in it. Yeah. But more person. importantly, a bonfire! That normally you could not escape from. <laughs> yeah, normally. And now we're in. <laughs> he sounds like. He sounds like a Family Guy character. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what their deal is, but I killed them anyway. Death to dwarfs. Or halflings, or whatever these things are. 
flame swath? No. Join me. For reasons. Why not? Can't just shoot this because it's fun! It is fun. One of these assholes is lined up perfectly. Oh, here we go. Come on. Here comes low FPS dwarf. Did he just say words? Uh, yes. He had one of those items that you can drop that makes that says words. Oh. So he came over here and instead of doing a gesture to say hi, he dropped one of those items. He just gives access to Titanite chunk farming. Well, it's a good thing I already got a plus ten. Ow! I mean, uh, oh, let's kill this guy quick. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> uh, somebody's shooting at me from over there somewhere. Oh, hey, buddy. Also, oh, in a gems. dark in a Souls game where your stats affect your appearance, I'd like I'd also like to set up my stats in a way that I become a super shortman. <laughs> Just a little. Poor, poor dude. Has to climb the ladder. Ow! Ow. <laughs> Somebody over here has a two turbo oh, bows. Oh, this asshole again. Um. So normally, uh, this is a bell zone where uh, other players get sucked in to fight you when you're. Uh, Ow. Whoa, right in the face. Or right in the hat, I should say. Oh, good. Thank you. Here comes Buff Big Huge. Thank you for the aggro. Oh, incoming fun fact. Yeah, get wrecked, new nerd. N nerb. Get wrecked, get, nerb. Get wrecked, nude. <laughs> Halfway between a noob and a nerd. Can't go through there? You oh, that's to, right. I have to ring the bell. You have to dingle the dangle. I gotta dingle the dongle. Wrangle my fingle. Which I do over there. Fingle my quarry. What does chat say? Uh, during World War One, when they introduced helmets as a requirement, head injuries increased a shitload. <laughs> I imagine that's because they weren't particularly well-designed helmets. Well, also potentially for like, uh, boxing glove reasons, where it's like... I can- I've got a helmet now! I'm invincible! <laughs> oh, there he goes. Farewell. because fatal head injuries became just head oh <laughs> so like all the people who normally would be dead it remind that reminds me of like there was one time my dad used to work our dad used to work at the post office and they had a safety dude who everybody hated because, like, his whole job was to find safety violations, right? Right. Um, so... Whoop. So that was just a, that was just a big old loop. Um, and I am going to pop back to Majula. And, like, to give you an idea of how useless this dude was... There's one time they gathered all of the all of the postal employees together for a safety meeting. And the dude said that the postal employees weren't going to be able to move to drive the vehicles backwards anymore because 25% of all accidents happen going backwards, right? <laughs> and my dad goes Excuse me. <laughs> Doesn't that mean that 
75% of all accidents go happen going forwards. Shouldn't we be driving backwards all the time? <laughs> I I think no one ever likes inspection people because they're not specifically because of the way companies utilize them, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if they were actually doing their job proper... Ooh, I got Twinkling Titanite. Alright. So, this is gonna boost my defense by 11, right? It's gonna... This is gonna boost it by 4. Should I use it on this, or should I wait to get another Twinkling Titanite to level this up? Can you look at the Elan armor? I know th the lawn armor is a lot better, but it's also over twice as heavy as the stuff I'm wearing. So I think this is this is pretty good for its weight category. Well, that's the thing, fair. It's not that they're doing. They're, it's not that they're like, oh, we got to make sure that everything's perfect. I'll be around. They don't care because of the because these companies are just like they pay them to find problems. And but if, they don't. But if they don't find problems, they don't go. Oh well, everything's going great. Thank you for doing the inspection. Inspection. They go. Then why are we paying you? Yeah. You didn't find any problems. So they will find ridiculous shit that isn't even a regulation to complain to write you up for. They will get stuff made regulation for the company just so that they can justify complaining at you about it. Like, I remember one time we had a person come through and we got docked points for not having a little waste bin underneath the sink that we used to hand wash in our department. We had not had that a waste basket like that for four years since I started working that job. And we'd had plenty of people come through doing the same inspections, and no one had ever said, Hey, you have to have a wastebasket there. Doc points, you're in trouble. So I don't... So that's really was not actually a thing that we had to have. Yeah, it's just... It's dumb. And the best part about why that's so fucking dumb is that literally, for the entire time that we're working there, there is a larger w trash can right behind you when you're standing at the sink. <laughs> so people would just wash their hands, dry their hands off with a paper towel, turn around and throw it in the big trash can. It was absolutely unnecessary. No! I want my stone ring. So there are literally people who are paid to be antagonistic towards the employees. Which, of course, doesn't help them maintain a good relationship with the employees. Which only sours them more so they find stupid... They're more and more willing to find stupid shit to write you up for. Okay. Now this bit, I know like the back of my hand because I've done this like 40 times. Only now... What the fuck? Bullshit. <laughs> Can you shoot through that? Uh... Okay, at least yes. it's fair. <laughs> if it went tank, I would have been more upset. Okay, now. Hey, I'm Coda. Gonna... Hey, Coda, welcome. I haven't seen you here in a while. I'll. That will activate yes. lava. <laughs> Second norm. <laughs> <laughs> Alternate norm. Oh, no. <laughs> now, see, again, there. There's shit down there. I, You can't get it. 
I don't. Somebody's gonna be like, no, you can't. I, you're a liar. You can't. <laughs> it's not. No. Well, it's not like you need to, to go over there. It's literally only there so you can it's, get down there. If I kill that dude over there and he drops items, I can't. It's hard to get when there. It's really hard to get when there's lava. Because ironically, it's not so hard to get under normal circumstances, but when you super heat. <laughs> It can get real dangerous to do tight jumps. That was kind of a flip. Is that good enough, Coda? You wanted you to do a flip. Oh. I did There's a flip. no flipping ring in this game, sadly. Sadly. Which is sad, because I wanted to be a flipping turtle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hang tight for a hot second. Where's my phone? my phone go because I want to read you a thing oh he wanted you to do a flip into the lava <laughs> do a double half ganger swan swan dive ganger <laughs> that's when you do that's when you start doing a half gainer but someone shivs you in the middle of it and you flop white hopefully <laughs> all right I'm gonna read you something uh, and I want you to tell me if it sounds natural to you, okay? Let me just scroll up until I find it. All right, so what I'm gonna read to you is just a, par is just a paragraph where I've replaced all the instances of A with an. In other words, if it, if it would be a boat, it's going to become an boat, okay? okay. All right, you ready? <clears throat> What if you had a wallet, which had a two-dollar bill in it, and a thief knocked you over and took it from you? You tell a police officer, and the thief is caught and dragged to a court, found guilty, and sent to jail. The thief sold your two-dollar bill to a collector, got a thousand, er, got a thousand dollars, which they bought, spent on a computer. The court, however, makes the thief pay in fine of two dollars because that's the monetary value of the cash that was stolen. Would you call that in fair judgment? Does that sound... Does that sound natural? Like... I mean... Ferret says, with the way you speak, fuck no, I can't tell a difference. I could tell a difference. Um, but it seemed... But at the same time, it was, like, inconsequential. It was just... my You know, my brain is kind of hardwired to hear... A thief, a fine... Yeah. So it kind it kind of feels like it almost feels like there's a brief pause, like a a halt, and thief, and fine. Well, what I found made it feel a little more natural to me was that a lot of the times I don't say and thief, I say n thief. Right. Like thief. I went I went and talked to a police officer, so it's just kind of it becomes like and. N, an N version of a schwa. Mm. Thief. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> Come on, jerk. Can you imagine how many more apostrophes <laughs> that would create in, like, casual chat? <laughs> well, I think in casual, you would still just write it as Anne. It's just you would pronounce it as mm. Yeah, but if you were trying, like, that would definitely, like, there would be those who are like, I must pronounce the whole N. <laughs> Fuck those people. You know, they're <laughs> like, it's, it, it, it's, you know, it is good enunciation to say and thief and in boat. You know. And boat. But if you want, but if you're like, say, writing a book and that's how people talked. And you're trying to write casual dialogue, you would, in fact, write it as, like, an apostrophe thief. Thief. And boat. My boat. Just, I'm always think. I'm always, I, I find, wah, <laughs> sneak attack. You were less successful. 
Um, I find language interesting, and when I think of English, I always try. I always I like I like to put my mind towards coming up with things that make English more accessible. Because like, for oh for fuck's sake! All right, come on, jerk. They really can't do anything about no, that, can they, they? I just eat their poise for breakfast and... <laughs> okay, we're up here. This makes water. I don't know why, what the purpose of that is. Shrug. Fuck these assholes. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Go up the stairs, you stupid cunt. Get. Ah! <laughs> the physics in this game can eat my nuts. Ow! My face. Okay. Alright, now he's just gonna die. Thank you, sir. Anytime now. Thank you. Yeah, it was, the, it was the physics of the arrow flying through the air. Ow. Ow. Hey. Mm. I don't feel great. I'll keep shooting. Ah. <laughs> War in a nutshell. I don't feel great. But I'm gonna keep shooting. Nah. Uh, <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do after we're done here? I'm gonna go get a pizza. Do you want a pizza? No. I want a pizza. What was dinner? I have forgotten already. Uh, they made a, like, tuna and egg salad. Right. Sandwiches. That's right. Eh. So, like, this, there, this is the only reason to come this way, and I forgot what it was. It's a cracked red eye orb and a torch. What a waste of time. <laughs> and you thought I was going to get two Lord Souls today. <laughs> They're both below. And thunk. And thunk. I can't keep up with chat. There's one person in chat and I can't keep up with it. <laughs> <laughs> He's criticizing me saying no to pizza. Oh. I love this drop. That's a valid criticism. Where it's like... <laughs> fall on, make sure to fall on the very edge of this pot. There we go, hell yeah. Now this, there's a plus one version somewhere, but... Now you get more item drops. More item drops, good. Whoop. Although, honestly... I feel like I've pretty much already got most of the best shit that drops will give me. Ah! Parrot is blue now. Yay! If but you change colors every time you say something, it will feel like there's... <laughs> like there's 40 people. Hey, let's go. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You did it. Hey, what the hell? If you, cha if you change your color in a specific way after every... After every, uh, chat message... You'll make a rainbow. 
<laughs> Grab it! Get get out of there! Uh, <laughs> the, the fire hurts so much. Also, I didn't see what I think that was a lightning short bow. Yes. I, I wonder if the iron old iron king here is weak to weak to lightning. Ow, splat. Here he goes. Worth. <laughs> Alright, we'll go summon... Ow. Okay, that didn't hurt. Manhunter O'Hara. <laughs> who I believe doesn't wear any pants. And high heels. She's got a miniskirt. Alright. You... That's fine. She's basically invincible. Oh no, she's not gonna be invincible. If she keeps running. Yeah, back seriously. What is your problem? Fire. All right. Well, let's go fight. Let's go fight one of the old great lord, old lord things. All right. How do I want to do this? Um, I suppose. No, I tried bowing the one time. Thank you! Wait. She used an Estus flask and it barely healed her. How many fucking hit points does she have? It's very oh, slow. She's still dying. What the hell? Or is she or is it going up? I don't understand. She's gonna fall in that one hole in the lava in the floor anyway. It's a race, we are not watching that shit. Uh, oh, this was a bad idea! I'm so angry, I wanted to roll and I leapt. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay! <laughs> Geronimo! <laughs> this is why I've done this section so many times. <laughs> He is weak to zappies, so what I want to do is first of all make these better healing items. And second of all, do I have any zap goo? Any zap goo? I do not. Um Does anybody I know sell zap goo? I don't think so. But, well, I'm not going to do that now, which kind of sucks, but oh well. I don't think it'd be, I don't, I don't think it'd be considered cheating looking up stuff on a wiki that has existed for, <laughs> um, excuse me, like sir. a decade or more. Thank you. He honestly doesn't shoot a lot of fire. <laughs> yeah, he's got like he's got like a fire breath shot where he's like, th you know, like thomp thomp thomp, and then he's got, uh, and then he's got like a laser beam that you can't hide from. It goes right through walls. Him to die. Ooh, I missed. Now we just wait for him to die. Ouch. And now we fight this dude. He goes black. See, there's an item over there. And if I activate all of the lavas, it's really hard to get. So as long as I don't activate the rest of the lavas, should, whoa, should be okay. 
Whoa, 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 come back, come back. Well, I activated the lava. Oof. This is uncomfy. Well, I'm never coming back here again. <laughs> it's over. Run ended. At least I got the at least I got the crystal lizard. No! This game sucks. How many souls did I just lose? I didn't. Thirty thousand. I don't remember. I don't remember how many I had when I got to the old Iron King. Ah, fuck this game. Do do do. do. Do 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 Let's just use these since I have them and I forgot about them. Womp. Okay. That'll get me what? A level? Maybe two yeah. levels? Less. Level up. You know, a little bit more vigor wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Maybe raise it up to 10. Okay. Once again. After Frey, are you able to level up your Estus? Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Um, isn't there an item like, uh... There's a sublime bone dust yeah. that lets you make your Estus more potent. The Estus shards give you more Estus uses. The sublime bone dust, you burn it, and it gives you, uh... And it makes your Estus better. Get, would you just... Uh... Back. Um, I don't remember if there's one that you can get from her, but there are lots of places you can... Sublime Bone Dust is just an item that you pick up. And then you just take that Sublime Bone Dust back to the bonfire, back to the Medjool bonfire, you burn it in the bonfire, and your essence is better. All right, let's try this again. Stop. Okay. And now we shoot. And the dude comes down here. <coughs> or what if? Bye. I like that he just sort of turns and he's like, oh. <laughs> Not cool, bro. Blub, blub. Well. Uh, why are you shooting at me already, you prick? Cause you're there. Be killed. Shoot! Oh, I'm still zombified, that's why I'm... It's like, why am I making weird noises? Oh, he's dead. Or not. Okay. No. I forgot to effigy. <laughs> you forgot to F the wiki? Yes. That armor. Tor ignored Luigi. 
I love Luigi. Lots of people love Luigi. Enough people love Luigi that he got his own game. I've... I feel like more people... ...like Luigi than they like Mario now. I... I am... Uh, ...inclined to agree. What a fool. We oh, those were pillars. <laughs> I would have been very salty. All right. So now we don't need to go that other way. We can just go straight through here, which is much faster. He comes up here. I give the stabs. I turn around, I target. What? You don't come down here! This game is changing rules. I don't much appreciate it. Womp. Womp. Excuse me. I don't know why you... That was some sick moves right there. I don't know why you bother with the trap. Because it's funny. <laughs> My ball's going to be a one-shot KO. Whoop, whoop. Ow, why did I do that? At least I didn't get wrecked on that. <laughs> Shunk. Which 100... <laughs> butt turtles. Alright, <laughs> if you could please, like, come Teenage all the way down here. Ninja butt turtles. <laughs> I watch a show about Teenage Mutant Ninja Butts. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't watch that show? Okay. Try this again. Right, where is he? Oop, there he is. Hey there, buddy. Wow, really? Immediately. Okay. Make sure if he does his... If he does his arm attack, where he shoots the fire from his arm, that you do not touch his palm. I didn't hear any of that. Your mic is far away from your face. Whoa! That attack. That attack that he just did? Right. If he's doing that... Do <gasps> This fight is ass! <laughs> I almost inhaled my tongue. I, I... That was so much damage. Ow. Oh, she died. She just fell in the fucking lava. This is what happened there. I knew that's what would happen. No. Oop. This seems bad. That was bad. Drink Estus. Hey. Get fucked. Elden Ring DLC together? Um, honestly, probably not. Like, we probably aren't gonna play that on stream. That seems like something that I want to enjoy, just to enjoy, you know what I mean? Anyways, what I couldn't tell you... <laughs> 
was uh, when he's doing his uh, fire attack where he spews a fire laser from his arm. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't touch his palm while he's doing that. Because it will instant kill you. All the time, forever, no matter what you're wearing, no matter how you're guarding. I don't know if you noticed, but I wanted to be nowhere near him. <laughs> well, except, problem was, you then you started stabbing his hand, stabbing at his arm while he was doing that, and you were getting distressingly close to the hand I couldn't warn you about. So I was half expecting you to go, ha ha! You know, one nice thing about this build that I'm doing is that literally none of the souls are useful are useful to me. So just take them all. Uh, let's go visit uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum real quick. <laughs> all right, that's one Lord Soul. Woo. One down. That puts me in the lead. I think. Um, I mean, technically, everything you do right now is putting you in the lead. <laughs> yeah. But, like, that's... Like, that's kind of, like, your m metric for the next thing that you... For the next stream that you do is... Uh, if you don't get a Lord Soul by the, end of the by the end of the stream, I am in the lead. It's sort of like in baseball, how, you know... The, at the top of the inning, if the if the team scores three points, technically they're in the lead, but the other team has a... Yeah, yeah, I know. Shut up. Leave. Yes. Leave. One. Yes. Leave. Yes. Okay. Chandler's Trident. Twinkling Titanite. Yes, tight night slab. Yes, let's go. We those are those are some good pulls, right there. I mean, Chandler's trident less so. Yeah, but at you least know, it's souls. Yeah, and you know I wasn't expecting to land. Given that one of those things that I gave them was a small, smooth, and silky stone, I came out. I came out of that really good. Hey, you know what? Sometimes RNG is all you have. Go upgrade. Yes. I can upgrade my armor. I knew you. Uh, where, 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 where? There it is. Got the Titanite to upgrade to plus three. I can upgrade this. Upgrade hat. Hold on. You can upgrade bow. Oh, upgrade bow first. And then Titanite Chunk. Very nice. Uh, and I can no longer upgrade hat. Sad. But we have... We have done the upgrades. I'll be around. And now we're going to restock on some items. On you. Buy item... 14. Uh, grab 15 of these. And all right, we're good there. And you have a caught that is. Yes. Did I ever ever check out the armor seller man? Yeah. Nope. God damn it. Upgrade. Do I have one? I haven't picked up any sublime bone dust and not noticed, have I? No. Bearer of see, see, lest. <laughs> Bearer seek, seek, lest. All right, what do I want to do here? I want to uh, bring adaptation up to 20. I want to bring vigor up to 10. And just dump the rest into endurance. Levels. Very good. Now, 
I need to check something very important. Okay, I got mannequin boots. I got mannequin gloves. Damn. No mannequin armor. I've got the Grain Warden top. Why'd you need mannequin armor? So I could go put what's her name in mannequin armor. Because it looks good. Oh, that's it's just regular ass ironclad armor. It's not yeah. it's not rusted or anything. Oh well, she gets to she gets to stay in her gear for now. All right, I have now beaten him. I've beat I've done the Iron Keep as much as I need to. There's some boat. There's some optional bosses in there, but I skipped. I skipped the. Smelter demon. Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you? Maybe he dropped something good. He's got souls. I don't know. All right. So I could go fight. What's her name? That's an option. I could go do Lost Sinner. Or I could go down into Black Gulch. You know what, I'm gonna go get Black Gulch out of the way. Oh boy. Oh boy! Everyone's favorite part of Dark Souls 2. Yes. Hold on. Oh, I need the key from the dude. This is the big one, right? Yes. We 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 uh we <laughs> Oh. Oh. Uh doesn't go all the way down. No, it doesn't. Um there are no good options. I mean, that's Souls games in a nutshell. Okay. Don't land on that. It's... Oh! God! <laughs> One fucking hit point! <laughs> the magic sliver! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need to heal that, because the next drop will kill you. Yeah. Um, I don't... I stupidly forgot to buy the cat... ring... Stop moving. <laughs> We're living on the edge. Um, it was the ring that saved you. <laughs> maybe, maybe if you weren't wearing ring. that, you would have died. Lucky, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Le the, it's the lucky ring. I guess I'll keep it for now. And then we drop down here. Oh no! Please! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if there was even the tiniest bit of wonky collision, <laughs> it would have all been over. <laughs> the one HP would have been for naught. Yeah, that's not a trap. Um, excuse me. Oh, there he goes. Um, fuck you too. We. If this is a poison or whatever, I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> okay. Ash knuckle ring. What does that do? Uh, increases petrification resistance. What does the evil I do? Uh, restore HP when you kill enemies. But it doesn't restore that much. It's not. Blah! I missed. Uh oh. Oh, oh god, this is bad because there are these guys. Just leap out Swing! of the way. Swing! <laughs> Here comes more. Careful where you walk. They might come out of the other tunnel too. No, the other tunnel has a has a great shield, dude. Oh, there's some charcoal pine resin. Okay, and this is just water. 
I mean, it's pooey water, but it's water. Get myself a... Alright. Hey, asshole. Let's throw down. Alright. I got, like, three-fourths of the way through my last way of the poke playthrough before I discovered how good the... <gasps> There it is. Alright, we need to get to a bonfire. Sublime bone dust, give good. Put bones in my Gatorade. <laughs> like, I'm, I apologize, chat, that I'm not paying more attention to you, but in my defense, it is a Dark Souls game. Let me go down the well to find the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> the well where we draw for drinking oh. water from. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in the lore they just started using that well for trash disposal and that's why the gutter exists. That makes sense to me. Like it's too empty to get water out of it anymore. Oh. We. I wish the easy mode mod had a way that you could do small leaps. <laughs> nope, it's only it's only Castlevania. <laughs> There's a mod I want. When you die, it plays the Castlevania death song. <laughs> Do 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 What was that? I didn't see. Did you see? See what? The item I just got. No. <sighs> it's not a bone dust, who cares? <laughs> Okay, I Unless can't. I open a chest and it's got 17 sublime bone dust in it, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, my mind was b completely blown when I realized... You hear that? Listen closely. That... is the sound of these things. They have heartbeats. Like the, the ones that spit poison have heartbeats. <sighs> okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> One of my favorite angry video game nerd bits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, there's a bonfire down there. That's, Neat. That's where I want to go. Well, you should go I'm not, it then. I'm not sure how I didn't fall down there. To be totally honest, I I was floating. Ow. Bonfire, yay. Ooh, <laughs> Majula, so I can burn my sublime. Poor ferret, he's trying so hard. <laughs> so, ferret in a box, are you in any way associated with fox in a box? <laughs> you made me think of the fox version of the useless box. Instead of just a little lever. What? It's like a fox plushie Did that I comes out and pushes the thing oh. back. I couldn't remember what I came here for. Burn! Yes. Burn dust. Alright. So hold on. You know what? I've changed my mind. I do have that bo I do have that bonfire so I can go back there when I'm ready, but I am actually going to go do Freya. Because I'm almost there. It, where he has, going through 
the gutter and Black Gulch is going to take forever. But I'm almost at Freya. And I have pretty freaking good equipment. So I'm not like... So I'm not too worried about being underpowered for the fight. Um, so... I love it. Wow, what the hell? Now spider party! Ow, ow, stop! Boy, what, still... how am I hitting the wall behind me? It's such a stupid mechanic. Dark Souls 2, everybody. If this was Elden Ring, I would 100% YOLO yeet into that guy down there, <laughs> just like, ha ha! Spoder. I see. Uh, that, that is actually something that I do like about this game that I wish more games would do. I look at Spoder, I hit aim, I'm aiming at Spoder. Right? Like, if I'm look, cause like, if I'm looking this way, and I hit aim, a lot of games will make me go be aiming this way. Because right. like, well, that's where your character's aiming is. Like, I don't care. Get out of here with your realism garbage. Whoop. I forgot about you. I don't know how much damage this spell does. Ugh. Okay, that wasn't bad. I'll just tank it. I don't want to roll off the edge and be horribly maimed. Are you going to explode? <laughs> I don't believe they explode if you roll into them. It made noises though. <laughs> It'll probably explode if it falls down. Yup. Cool. Boop. be cool if that killed something but it didn't because Dark Souls isn't cool got some rouge water and that's just flash shard hell yeah let's go and I want to go somewhere we're on the road to somewhere where do I go I didn't see what that was. That a homeward bone? No, it was a petrified dragon bone. Oh. Triple kill. Nice. Godlike. Dominating. Dude, we haven't. I, instantly, I want to play Unreal Tournament 2004. Haven't played that game in forever. Phew. All right, we got a. Uh, we got a friend. We got a spoder. He's spoder is not friend. We've got our uh, birdie piece of ass in there. Burb wife. We've got exploding lizard. He was exploding? Yeah, they explode. The red ones attack you and they explode. Oh, it's good that I can tell that it's red. What's in here? I was 13 at the time. Please make it simple so I can understand. Boop, boop, boop. Shoes, shoes, shoes. <laughs> that one's just down there nibbling at your feet. Uh, just leg a list his ass. Okay, got a large tight knife shard now. Summon. <laughs> Cobalt. Bashful Did somebody say exploding lizard bombs? <laughs> All right. Ray. Now we've Ray. defeated your ass already here. Oh, he's he's you summoned him. Yeah, I, summoned I didn't him. see the summon sign. Oh, I thought you were being invaded by this Ray. This is where I want to go. Come up here, grab Titanite chunk. Ignore dead skeleton. Okay. Come out here. 
Folk Lizard. Folk Spoderman. <laughs> the shittiest Spoderman. Uh, oh, we got Spoders. Alright. Got ourselves a Mail Breaker. And another large Titanite Shard. No. Switch to bow shoot. Ow, 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 Ray. Ray, what are you doing? For God's sake, Ray. Stop getting mined. Are you proud of yourself, Ray? I'm gonna pick those items up later, if ever. Okay. And... The room of too many spoders. Yes. Oh, there we go. Just had to kill the All right, Ray, one. get in there. <laughs> It's just a thousand sp giant spiders, Ray. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Why do these spiders... Drop these massive fucking weapons? Yeah, like, why do they have... Fucking... You are oh. health. I didn't even notice that I was losing health. Because I was getting lazy. Eat shit. Played the game three times for each area because you played it with friends. Mm, so you played it on your own, and then you kept help. You helped two other friends play through the game. All right, what's in here? Free this asshole! Ow! It's a good strategy, really. Hey, homework boner. All right, and then through here is a Spoderman. All right, and now uh, I'm gonna use Flame Butterfly because I will need it up ahead. And I'll light this up so I don't have to use more Flame Butterflies later. I can't remember what this is. Oh, Gold Pine Resin. And a Soul of a Hero. Nice. If I'd come in here earlier, I would have had the Gold Pine Resin for fighting the dude. For fighting the old Iron King. Fuck! Am I able to get out of here? I missed the summon. I saw it, and I just walked right past it. Ah, well, let's try. Give it the old college try. Maybe it won't go terribly. Stab. Squirt, squirt, squirt. These spiders are on, like, the very edge of triggering my arachnophobia. They're not quite there. Because, oh, that's... They're still a little on the monstrous side. Yeah. It's like, made up spiders. Um. Are you okay over there, buddy? <laughs> He's fighting his demons. Leave him be. Okay. I'll let you do you. Get out of the way, though. Um, how do I get down I safely? Think, I think you drop. What the fuck? What is happening? <laughs> Die! Now, what the hell? He's got pyromancy. What are you- why are you d detonating me? <laughs> He's trying to kill the spider you were chasing. 
Why did I slip on spider, on spider webs? webs? <laughs> if anything, you should have went thorp. Whee! You should have went thoom, and then all the spider and like seven hundred spiders showed up to devour you. <laughs> and then you died. Well, at least now I can get both of the summons. But now I also don't know how to get down there. Like, that was the only way down that I saw that wasn't, like, a huge-ass jump. Uh... Stab. So now I gotta go through all this again. Juiced, juiced. Down come the spoders. Why did he have a Mastodon crate sword? What the fuck is happening with these spiders? <laughs> yeah. Are they all reincarnated warriors? That's terrifying. So I feel like there's a way you can skip going down to this first section and just get over there immediately. Is it through here? Uh, this feels like it might be correct. Aha! You stupid... Die! <sighs> Wait, where's Bashful Ray? Dead. I heard other things. There's spiders coming They're over there. Stab. Stab. You okay, buddy? He really didn't like that plant. Guess not. Now, where's Ray? Oh. Uh, we. But this is not where I care about. All I care about is get out of my way. All I care about is finding Bashful Ray. Where was that summon? Where was it? It was in that one room with the. The one room with the thing? It had, like, the area that was indented into the ground. There was a Spoderman. Is it in there? In here, maybe? Oh, it was... Oh, jump in there. Hold on. Wah! <laughs> <laughs> this is a harder jump than it looks like. Yeah, there it is. There it is. And the spoders. Naturally. Ah, the pleasant sounds of bird life. And that spider's just sort of chilling. Yeah. Which means that Ray is gonna sit there trying to stab it for a million years. Yeah, I should probably deal with this stupid spider. That It won't let me target, by the way. Like the game thinks it's a hundred percent stealth or something. <laughs> All right, so now we go back out here. Please let me out! Please, please let me out! Let me I, I promise I won't take over any more humans. And there goes stupid Ray. <laughs> Jesus! 
that dude fucking detonated those rocks. Oh, he killed somebody. Good job. <laughs> Ominous hole in the wall. Let me jump into it. All right, got a few of them. light a torch here because the spoders don't like the torches see they just, they just run away all right grab item summon manhunter o'hara okay now, let's try this again. <laughs> All right. Now, we go this way, right? Uh, jump on the webs th there below you, I think. But that's where I went before. And then that's where I dropped right there. I'm surprised this is considered. Uh, oh, wait. Turn around? No, it's under, no, that the, looks, it's yeah. under the ledge. That's a bad time. That looks terrible. Maybe if you go up here. Maybe you need to go up to go down? Maybe? Uh, I have to figure out how to go up, though. Uh, from over here? Oh, yeah, okay. Also, this room is hilarious if you have one-hit kills on, because the spiders all just sort of drop and die. <laughs> oh, hey, Bachelor Race down there. Okay. Progress. No. No, I'm just here again. Go back up. Get on that. Oh, I see it. Go down here. Here we go. Also, I think Bashful Ray fell down. Yes, he did. Whoop. And I fell down. Or actually, he might have just gotten utterly manhandled by these dudes. They're honestly not doing him a ton of damage. I think he literally saw them and was like, I must go kill them, and dropped. And took most of his damage from uh, ridiculous falling damage. Stab Spoder. Spoder had um, a great scythe. What, uh huh? Where's What's Her Face? Manhunter? Yeah. She's over there somewhere. Living her best life. Probably just attacking spoders. Okay. Oh, yeah, she was over there. I think. There she is. Yeah, there she is. But you knock it off with these spoders. Oh, hey, a third summon slot. Alright, good. Alright, now we're gonna go. Let's go, we got three summons. Let's go, Bashful Ray, I'm begging you... ...to leave the Spoders alone. Alright, can we go? Alright, we're going. Alright, Spoder. Fuck, fuck. They should basically leave you alone. Oh, right, I can't. You gotta attack her faces. Ow, she shoots lasers. <laughs> Laser spider. But here's the thing, I don't want, like, they'll leave me alone, yes, but my crew is going to be, is going to obsess over these fucking spiders. 
and so they're not going to aggro uh, aggro lag over here because they're going to be too busy playing with spoders. Whoa! I didn't think it was that wide a beam. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck, I put my torch away. Stop! This is the attack that got me killed a couple of times. Because... Ugh, the hitbox on these arms is ridiculous. See? Like, I need them to aggro one side of her. So that I can get to the other side and do stabs. And I have some... That is some defense she's got there. She, you can't hit her anywhere except her face. I know, but like, I was looking at the damage you're doing to her compared mm -hmm. to what you were doing to the old Iron King. Like, I can't tell how aggroed she is by them. At well, some point, she's gonna be like, oh, this fucker over here is doing shitloads of damage to me. Oh, there it was. Fuck, fuck, get me out of here. Okay. Why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Leave, leave. Okay, okay. All's well, it's fine, it's fine. She's just throwing a temper tantrum. Ow, fuck. Oh, great. Are there- where are more- okay, there are more over there. Oh, here's one. No, why are you targeting Freya when there is a huge spoder right next to you? There, there are no spoders. Fight the big one. She appears to be busy with Manhunter. She won't be for long. Uh, Ashen, I think, aggros or aggros are pretty hard. No! God damn it! Who's, who is she looking at? She's just spinning around in circles. And for hand from shoot with arrows. Um, I suppose I can give that a whirl. You could at least be doing something. That's not bad damage. It is. It is hitting, which is not, which is something I haven't been doing. Let's try this side. Get in there, get in there. One more good hit ought to do it. There she goes. Yay. All is right. Is Duke actually a figure in the game? Yeah, if you'll wait a bit, yes. we'll show you. Yep. Anyways, let's uh, get in here and grab ourselves a great soul. Delete us. Delister Burger. You don't remember the Duke? Here he is, don't blink. There he was. <laughs> uh, Alright. A primal bonfire was... <laughs> I missed it. We told you not to blink! <laughs> All the keys on the key were just... <laughs> Hilarious. Just looking in my camera, just, just <laughs> this hail of keys. All right, let's use up some souls here. <clears throat> Excuse me.
It would be a great troll mod to inject into someone's Dark Souls. What? <laughs> Make it so they can accidentally use unusable <laughs> items for no reason. So they're like, all right, and like they accidentally try to use their Estus shard because they're trying to master soul using, and then they use the Estus flash shard and it just shatters and use forever. Nice. Doors of Pharos. There we go. Manslayer. Okay. We're gonna go. Nice, two hit. Dead. All right. Yeah, this is like the rat, Royal Rat Authority in the Rat Vanguard region. Me. Sup, my dude? Can you take? All of this. All of this stupid, useless crap. Keep the gloves, keep the boots. You are existing in who gets pissier against the worst boss in the game. What? I am confused. Doot, 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 doot. Are you talking about Freya? So many souls. <laughs> Sell Estus Flask Shard. Oh, the Rat King? You don't we you don't have to fight either of them. Yeah, you can skip that. Okay. We're not 100 percenting this. Yeah, it's just beat Nish defeat Nishandra and sit on the throne, and then go get one crown. From one of the DLCs. Okay. Many. Many deal, many thanks. And now I piss off. <laughs> Majula. Honestly, I think I hate the Royal Rat Authority more. I think he's my. Vanguard. I think. He, she, it is my least favorite boss. I think it's the worst boss in this stupid game. Like, the Vanguard is annoying, but, like, you know, once you get up to an appropriate level, it's like a cakewalk. But yeah, the you royal just stab, rat, done, stab, rat, done. Right. Oh, here comes Mohawk Rat. <laughs> there, fight done. It's the, it's the authority that drives me insane because he. I knew you. He won't stop moving. And while he's doing that, there are little uh, rats running around that give you toxic like that. Like two hits from them and you'll get toxic. And so you have so you're de trying to deal with them while you're dealing with the Royal Rat Authority. It's a nightmare. Oh. Nice. Hat. Yes, powerful hat. <laughs> the most powerful hat. I'll reinforce these while I'm here. Holy Why shit! <laughs> the Sturberger Sturberger boss is what annoyed me. He has no Sturberger capacity. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but I'm not gonna waste large Titanite shards on these. Although I guess it doesn't really matter. At this point, I've leveled up everything past the point I need large Titanite shards, so... Why not? Okay. 
Thank you, sir. And now... Oh, apparently, I didn't know this. She is his daughter. Yeah. He's the reason why when he meets you, he's like, You got you should settle down. Because all I get is grief for my daughter who won't stop putting herself in dangerous <laughs> situations. So, could someone who I'm friendly with... Stop trying to kill them. <laughs> Bearer of seek, seek, lest this seek, seek, less. If you want a more sad version of that story, try a Siegmeyer from Dark Souls one. How many levels am I getting? Ten. Hot damn. All right, let's crank. See, the thing is, I only get, I get seven stamina. How much is seven, seven stamina? Yeah. Is that a stab? Is that a jump? Is that a roll? How much is seven stamina? Like, I would much rather have... Like... You could have more adaption or more health. Here's a better system. Have stamina pips, right? So you've got like one... You've got like one, two, three, four stamina pips, right? And when you... Uh, when you roll... It uses one stamina pip. When you swing a light weapon, it uses one stamina pip. If you swing a medium weapon, it uses two stamina pips. If you jump, it uses two stamina pips, right? Like, so you have a very clear visual indication of how much stamina you have. It doesn't use half of a stamina pip, and if you have half a stamina pip, you don't get to do the thing, right? So... And then when you level up your endurance, you can see that you're building up towards having a sixth stamina pip. And then once you get that sixth stamina pip, you know, yay, I can do another, I can do another dodge, right? It make it's so much more intuitive. I mean, you can just make it like attunement, just be like at a, cer at a certain number, you get a pip, get a whole pip. Right. I think it's it just kind of gives you an idea of how close you are, but yeah, that's basically the idea. How would sprinting work, though? Um, okay, you ready? Uh, when you're not in combat, sprinting doesn't use any stamina. Right. When you're in combat, you sprint for a bit and it takes a stamina pip, and then it has to refill. If you just, if you tap the sprint button and you sprint for a little bit, it still uses a pip. So it's just like pink and then pink and then pink. Uh, let's see. Need adaption or vigor? Um. I'll do adaptation until the numbers stop going up a ton. Because, like, curse is going up 24. Like, that's a lot. So. You, you also get poise from it. Yep. Poise is good. 6.9 poise. 9 points. <laughs> Alright. Well, I think I will call it here. It's, we've been on for close to four hours, and I have accomplished two Lord Souls. Two Lord Souls. You've defeated the holder of the soul of Gwyn, and Yay. the holder of the soul of Seath. You just, jo you joined us like an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> At least. That spot will never let anyone be dramatic. <laughs> so, uh, that'll do for tonight. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with us for uh, some Dark Souls here. You want to throw us into pregame real quick so we can get some big face. Um, you, is music playing? I pressed the button. Oh, there it goes. So, what the fuck? Uh, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, we'll be back on Wednesday for Panda's next, uh, for Panda's next go. I was concerned that this was going to take quite a while, but it seems like it shouldn't be too long. No, the holdup is going to come when we hit the DLCs. Yeah, I think. 
maybe some of the later bosses like maybe some of like the end stage bosses but uh it's not too bad so what is your question ferret quickly it's the end quickly what 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 tell us tell us <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> do you think you guys are gonna go for your dlc options i'm not sure because i'm not super familiar with any of them because it's the might be worth old ivory king run. there's the there's the crown of the old ivory king or burnt ivory king i guess yeah the crown of the sunken king and then the crown of the, ninety gigabytes. <laughs> the crown of the guy who really likes Ash. The um, the the fire and iron shit. Right. Um. So it's like, do I want to deal with fire everywhere? Poison everywhere, er, everywhere, or cold everywhere plus a million horses. <laughs> horses. Well, the the horsey area is optional, I think, so you don't have to do that. No, you have to go through it. You do? It's like the first part of the game and of the DLC is you enter a big snowy area. No. That's completely optional. You climb into a coffin and it dumps you into that field. That's where you fight two of the. That's where you fight two of the pets. The, the Toygers. Yeah, because there are three pets. There's one you fight on the bridge, and there's two you fight in that zone. But that's option. You don't have to go into the frigid outskirts. Um, so, yeah, here's the thing. I'm the most familiar with Elaeum, with Frozen Elaeum. And I could probably get through that fairly quickly. But that boss fight is absolute dicks. Like, that's just toilets all the way down. There's... Um, I forget, do you have to do the chaos, f the chaos fire fight in that, or is that an optional one? The chaos fire fight? Yeah, because there's two fights I remember. There's the fight where you're basically in the bed of chaos, and you have the frozen knights who fight with you, and they go and they close a bunch of gates that are infinitely spawning knights. And then the Burnt Ivory King comes out and fights you, too. And then there's one where you fight Sir Alon. Uh, I think the Sir Alon is optional. Okay. Because I didn't... The last time I did this, I didn't do that fight. Um... And the Poison Area, you have to fight... Uh... The Squalid Queen... And the fucking... And the final boss is the Poisonous Dragon. Mm-hmm. And then in Old Iron King, you have to fight the Fume Knight. Squalid is another S tier word. So, I'm kind of leaning towards Frozen Alayum just because I know that the environment leading up to the final boss is fairly easy to navigate and. Um, it's fairly easy to navigate, it's not super dangerous, and it's just the final boss that sucks ass. So, I'm thinking the sunken area, because apparently I hate myself, but mostly because I have always been classically garbage at fighting the humanoid enemies in these games. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't relish the thought of trying to fight the Burnt Ivory King or the Fume Knight. Especially the Fume Knight. Well, the Invisible Tiger actually isn't terrible. I mean, it's it sucks. <laughs> especially if you don't have the thing that makes yeah, you not invisible. That, but that's that's the thing. is that you, she's, The lady is like, turn back! And if you listen to her and you don't go that way and you go around, uh, you get an item that lets you see the tiger. So, um... <laughs> so, I, I think the actual bosses of the Sunken King DLC are going to be easier, because I'm far more comfortable fighting some dumb lady. Unless it's a Rat King Authority. <laughs> some dumb lady and... 
a massive dragon who I just plant my face between his cheeks in Hackaway. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do those bosses. You just get right up close. Excuse me. Yeah, there's an item. There's an item that you pick up in Frozen Liam that the description is that it lets you see the unseen. And you just, if you have it, you don't, like you don't have to activate it or use it or anything. If you have it, you see the unseen, and that means everything, everything that was invisible, you can now see. So like when you go into the misty area of the shaded woods where the ghosts are, you can see them now, and lock onto them and shit. Yeah. So, anywho, so yeah, that's, I uh, that's where I'm leaning towards. I'm probably gonna do Frozen Alayum. Um, it's just, I'm just going to have to suck it up and get good and beat the boss and hopefully not end up in an Ornstein and Schmoo situation. <laughs> so yeah. So anyway, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with us as always a huge thanks to our Twitch cheers and supporters. You can, uh, you can't. That's still stuck in my head. A huge thanks to our Twitch cheers, subscribers, and donators. Your financial support helps us to pay a couple bills every month, and it means the world to us, so thank you so much for that. And don't forget to check us out on YouTube and Discord. We got some links coming up in the chat. Fucking, I don't do this shit. We got some links coming up in the chat for you to follow. Uh, head over to our YouTube channel. We've got VODs. Uh, our Twitch VODs end up over there in 4K quality. Um, and, uh, we post, like, we, uh, we get our edited reels up there as well. Um, and yeah, so give us a subscribe over there so you can catch up on those and, uh, pop into our discord. We've got a wonderful community of people who would love to chat with you. So drop by, say hi, and we'll see you guys next time on controller tape. Bye. Bye. <laughs>